What's up, people? Wrestling's man, them here, letting you guys know we now have YouTube channel memberships live on the channel. Any video you click on the main profile, you will see a join button. So make sure you join, sign up. There are two different tiers, and there's all kinds of different perks all over these tiers. Yeah, again, Wrestling's now has channel memberships. Sign up and support the man, them. Yo, what's happening, people? You're listening to the Rest Things podcast, the Kenny Omega proof podcast. If you like what you're hearing, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, you already know this podcast is by the man, them, for the man, them. Bow! We got Saf from Congo. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Saf hey. Hey. hey, listen, is that Bomaye? Not Bomaye. I'm sick of you foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of it. All these foreigners, all these Caucasian people say, Bomaye. Is that Bomaye? Ali Bomaye. That's what I Yeah. People, Ali Bomaye. I remember when Robin Williams did that on the Brit Awards. I wanted to, I was a kid, I wanted to kill him. I was nine years old. <laughs> he goes, Ali Bomaye. Ali Bomaye. Ali Bomaye. Ali Bomaye. Bomaye. What's that one? Bomanga? Oh, Bominga? What's that mean? Bomanga means me. You killed me. You've killed me. Oh, no, you've killed me. You've killed me. Yeah, yeah. Or Bominga? So, what's he trying to say? Like, you love him. Yeah, basically, AC's saying, yeah, basically, like, yeah, like, what you've killed me with your beauty or whatever. That's jokes. Yeah. I hear it though. That's jokes. I hear it. I've, yeah. I've, you have you killed my beauty songs before? All the time, every day. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Since I've been killing me with my beauty. Hey, I'm playing though. We got, we got Sat from Wrestle Talk, man. Thanks for fucking us for Sat. Yeah! Are we, are we on, yeah? Yeah, we're yeah, on, we're on. on. We've been on, we've been on. You, don't, you, you have to let me look like a bit nice. I look a bit sketchy. Nah, yeah. You're looking good, you're looking good, good, bro. The trim is looking A1. Yeah. Listen, Jeez, I, listen, I, I did. Errol, Errol, Errol. Errol, big up Errol. Big up Sterling. Listen. Why didn't know we have seen barbers, bro? What? Have I seen you before then? Nah, listen, I'm too low key for that. <laughs> no, but then it, do you book, do you book appointments or you just got? You just nah, I, I used to go in like randomly. Oh, book appointments. I got his number. So I, book I got his number too, but for me, it's like it's only like later on, like getting his number that was a thing. But before then, I used to just go in. I used to be quiet. You're going, yeah, you're going, you're listen, going even you go in. Listen, because you speak patois, and I was like half the time, no, I was like I, I couldn't. There was one day I went in there, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and something happened, didn't it? So ever since mm. that day, I said, nah, I'm I'm gonna call in and go in wow. appointment. Someone came with a thingy. For real. Looking for someone still. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why. That's why he. That's why he locked the door. You know, clocked. Sometimes you go to the door, you open the door, he's locked it. Yeah. Listen. That. That's why I used to come in and keep my mouth shut. shut. Yeah, get your hair cut. Get my hair cut and bounce. No, no, no. Because all the all the people that used to do that, that they're shit, gone. Either gone. arrested, yeah. they're gone or dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know if it's just me when it comes to barber cut. Like, a, lot, a lot of people like when they go to barber shops, they're super friendly. They talk to everyone. Me, my head is just down because I don't know. So I think barber as politics. I've got, as I've got older, I feel like he's become more of like when Edward chats to me, he'll be like, yo. Like, oh God, I see this thing about God. He talks about God a lot. Me, oh, don't, don't. Oh, Have you, you, fall, you fell in the trap. Whoa. You fell into the trap about talking about God. He, he, he doesn't like God. <laughs> he doesn't like God. <laughs> no, 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 I think, do you know what he, he thinks, obviously, he's, he's, Rast, he's Rastafarian, okay. isn't it? Yeah. And he'll be like, why are you worshipping a God? Why are you worshipping God for? Yeah. So last year, so I'm like, bro, Errol, I know you're trying to convert me, but come on. <laughs> let's keep it. And also another thing is what? He's never been ill. That's what he tells me. He's never been ill. I thought that he, he's actually never been ill, though. He told me that. Does you know, he recommend remedies. <laughs> yeah, 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 he does. He does. He does. He does. The turmeric and all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, he even said to me, uh, 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 you, you, you took the vaccine. I was like, yeah, man. Oh, You're the oh, panic. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. Bro, I've, bro, I've you know confessed. I, bad, yeah, mm. I told him I took the vaccine. I had my hair dyed, yeah. <laughs> and I think I was even talking about getting a tattoo with my boy and the thing, it. He goes, lied, man. You lost yourself, man. Oh! I mean, what is this? We had a COVID. I was like, oh, no. No. No way. Yeah, when I, when I my head, bro, he said, yeah, he finished. Because you, you, like, no, you got kids, you got kids, you can't be doing this. You can't be, you, what colour you, you dye your hair? Like brown. Like, it was a calm. No, nah, no. Hair. Listen, we 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 dark skinned brothers shouldn't do the brown, man. If you if you if you're gonna I did brown as well. Yeah, 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 brothers, why I do brown? I can't say the result of what the brown did to what. But why why brown? You you no, <laughs> my ginger was accident. Ginger, yeah. ginger was accident. Why, why, why not make it? Why, why not make it stark? Like, if, you know if it, yeah. I, do you know what it is? Yeah. Mm. When, I, when I went to go buy the pack, <laughs> my missus, my missus sister was like, "You should get something that's outrageous, like a grey or something." Like that. I was like, "Nah," because if I get grey, I'm gonna have to dye my beard grey. And I don't look like Sergio Aguero. Black. <laughs> 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 I'm like, no, I'm like, no, but then again, like I'm gonna have to like fade, like get a proper fade in if I wanna get grey in it. Yeah, yeah. Like, the top has fade. to be grey, and then I couldn't fade in it. Plus, my sides here are very light, so if I get grey, bro, it's gonna look shit. So I said, you know what? Let me just be safe and get the colour that Del goes. I got a cool Del. Del goes, yeah, that colour's fine. So then I done it. I went home, done it, and it was, it was fine. But as time went on, my hair started getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Really? 
yeah, so I just I cut it all off and after I started again. But what I realized, yeah, it fucked up my hair though. Oh, yeah, 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 yo, oh, yeah. it sucks out all the nutrient in your hair, brother. You have oh, to, you, I, I, you, I, I, listen. Bro, so I had, a, I had a bit of a ball patch here. Bro. It happens. It's right now. So when you dyed your hair, did you dye it with, um, like with conditioner? Yeah, they gave me conditions to you. Oh, okay. What, what hair product did you use for your hair to grow back? Because I, I used I that use, there. Um, Mele. Mele and rosemary oil. Yeah. I'm using Cantu. Yeah. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No? Cantu not good. Mm-mm. Use Mele. Mele. Uh, Bro, I'll tell you this shit. Why is Cantu not good? It's good. Cantu, Cantu um, strips your hair, apparently. What? My missus says she, yeah, No, because my family told me that was a thing. Cause nah, mom, like, you know, you know how African mums, yeah, sometimes the edges be lost. Her, my mum regained her edges. So that, I thought that was a miracle in itself. The, 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 the onion remedy. Onion no, remedy. what? So I'm going, this is, we're going to talk about so much fun. I'll quick, so basically, you get onion <laughs> and you rub it on your, in your You're head. You're having a black ass moment. Is this like a... Um, so no, 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 no. Is this actually help with ball patches? No. If your hair's gone, it's gone. No, no. But I'm talking in terms of. So, <laughs> I, t- I tell you what. Don't try I'm, this I'm, at home. I'm talking in terms of like. I'm talking in terms of like. So my hey, my 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 sides are hard to grow in it. Mm. Yeah. So you ma- you blend up onion. Yeah. yeah. You put in your hair here. You just leave in your hair. It does stinks. It, does it burn? No, it feels calm. It's calm. Yeah. I'll tell you one remedy. If you got rub at home, just rub it on your hair. What's that rub? Like, what rub? You know that African no, hot rub. That, that's that's not, but doesn't that doesn't burn your scalp? It burns. It, it stimulates on blood flow. Hair. That's like spraying perfume not, on your not, balls. Not bro. all on your hair, <laughs> but like in certain areas. Oh. Hey, so it's just, I know it's a good rest. It's a good rest again. And last week, hey, have you man asked when you were young, yeah? Have you man accidentally spray perfume on your balls? Wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. You, you, you said young. I, I'll probably still do that shit. Who knows? Perfume on your balls. No, 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 my sack. I'm saying no, like that. The, no, no, the hair area. I'm talking about the hair area. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. It happened before. Sometimes the boxers get a little bit perfume. I knew it. I knew it. The, the one episode that I'm on, I knew it. I, I, I'm the king. I'm the king of that. I get, I get derailed all the time. By the way, we just give you a preview of what you can expect from Fix Podcast. I'll be honest, I don't want to promote them, but the manscape. Sprayed the, the ball toner. It was good. It was good. It was good. I liked it, but yeah, no, no. Do you know? What? Yeah, fair. I can't, like, I can't say the result of what that ball toner did for me. <laughs> yeah. nah, There's a living god. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was the cream. It was the cream. The ball toner. It was the cream. I got glowing. Yeah, the cream. The whole sailing. Don't fucking do that, fuck. Okay. Episode. I thought you actually. Episode. 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 Um, there's a great Bad Bunny t-shirt that's just really that's going right now. Go on that link and go cop that. Mm. Um, Pretty Deadly got a banging tee as well that dropped as well. Go cop that. The WWE, the WWE heavyweight title has been dropped. Go, on that title. That. go cop that. Mm. Um, hustle on the 6th of June. 6th of June. Um, Color Factory not far from here. You need to come to one of them shows as well. It's epic. Yeah. Great. Yeah, great hustle. Great. Epic. Yeah. Yeah. Great epic. Um, we'll talk after that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and any more, any more quickly before I just forget? Because I know. Um, sign up to our memberships, fam. Yeah, memberships back. We're yeah. gonna be back doing some proper, 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 yeah. proper content for you. And unreleased shit as well. Unreleased yeah. shit. Um, also have you know Revolution Radio, Indie Takers, plenty of content for you guys. You know what I mean? We're we're gonna be stepping on everyone's necks. Yeah. Cool. Um, intros. Before you, obviously, I don't know. You, you have to have a solid intro because you can. Listen, you listen, finish. listen. I've been, I've been watching you guys. Yeah, Love listen. I got my, fi- I got my nicknames ready. I got a list in. I'm gonna read it for you. I'm gonna let you guys do your thing. Ever do your yeah. thing, yeah. and I'm gonna do my thing as well, guys. <laughs> Yo, it's the foolish fresh on Nafi to my left. I got. When I say Guap, you said that Guap. That is. That is. Strong star rating, leg drop hating, big back rubbing, shirk loving, son of a gun, your boy Dobo, aka Slow DV, aka Pro Guap Tees, aka Save Wire, aka the Nostalgia Police, aka the Cargo Man. Maniac, aka I'm not gonna lie. God forgive, forgive me, me if I bust, bust my nine. nine. And to my left, we got. Yeah, man. Um, it's your boy Sam Blacks, Mr. Controversial, under the dark. Yeah. Official top five dead or yeah, alive, man. man. Mr. 150 million yeah, percent. Mr. Roly Poly. Mm. You know what I mean? It's back. Um, who else, man? Maxima. 
Nicky Garcia, yeah, yeah. Nicky Garcia. Yeah. He sees me like cool this. Uh, epic. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wearing the, you know, you know, wearing the hat <laughs> today. I'm not wearing the hat. Yeah, I'm looking very corporate today. You know what I mean? It's going to butt like Cody Rojo. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, just Nicky Bella's baby boy. Oh, Ever since he's Garcia, Garcia, but yeah, man. it's Garcia, bro. I, I like the Bella. I like the Bella anyway. But anyway, Nicky Garcia's baby boy. Immediately, immediately, immediately. we're here, man. Dun, 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 dun. How did he say it? <laughs> My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> All good states. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Yo, people, it's your boy NK, aka the man of the hour, two sweet to, to be sour. sour, aka the hood Japanese correspondent, oh, aka the CEO, the president, the commissioner, the TDM, Jeez. Tokyo Doll Merchants. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yo, it's your boy Laps, the main event, live on Champagne Sipper, Big Bat Driller, and Babyface Killer. We're back again on the Rest Things podcast. Yeah! yeah, yeah I love that. And we got the chocolate superman, aka the Congolese snake ips, aka the keen observer, the human condition, aka the Molotov cocktail, because I don't drink alcohol, so it's mocktail. I have to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> aka the best take machine, aka Mama Nyang's baby boy, aka yes. repping the house of the black mask via Rasa Talk, Sati Nyangi, aka sat on your face. <laughs> 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 Hey you, I see you enjoying the podcast. I see you enjoying the content. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, carry on. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> That's an intro. That's an intro. Bro. Full start, how's everyone doing today? Good, man. Good, man. Yeah, yeah. Marinating yeah. under the armpits, bruv. I can't I'm, lie. I'm hoping that um, West Ham get through to the finals today. So I think it's a semi final today. They're yeah, playing um, second against AZ Alkmaar. Oh, I think they're playing home away. So okay. hope they get through. If they get through, it's good news. Mm. I don't support Arsenal no more. Just so you know that. No. Why? Why? Because you brother plays West Ham? Fucking bottle jobs. <laughs> nah, I've been supporting West Ham, though. No, you can't leave when the guy gets tough. No, but I'm, I'm, I can't. I'm putting yeah, more the my energy. The guard has been getting tough for how many years? I know, but it's I'm, I'm, I'm putting more my energy in um, West Ham now. I can't lie. Yeah. But yeah, all good, bro. How about you? I'm alright, man. Can't complain. The hat is wavy. I must Thank say, you, man. That's very wavy. Wait, where did you get it from? Amazon? No, I'm from India. Yeah. yeah Who's ha- your friend? <laughs> No, like, FBI. I'm asking where you can like promote. No, but it's not like an actual business, in it. Oh, okay, like, she sorry. just does it for a hobby, and then. I oh, okay, oh. sorry, I didn't. Wait, oh, hobby. Oh, how did you get here? I'm not looking at his hat like that. I'm barely biting my lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 wait, wait. Nah, allow the pause. I don't like people to do pause. Own it, man. No, 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 when I saw that, I can't lie, my, my jaw dropped. Bro, when we first saw you, we were yeah. happy. Yeah, my jaw drops, bro. We were happy because it's like, no, nah, big up, man. I appreciate you guys. You, 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 don't, you don't understand, yeah? So basically, pandemic happens, right? So we're not all doing anything. And then I'm checking out Wrestle Talk, and then I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I was like, there needs to be a black person there. There, 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 needs, to, there needs to be like a, a culture shift, you know? Like, there are black British people. Let's, let's exclude the, the, the African-Americans. There are black British people that do like wrestling. You know what I'm saying? But if you if you all see it as just white people, you just assume only the white British fans, because especially after like the what culture and the cultaholics, all you see is white faces. You may enjoy it, but you don't see someone like yourself. It's like harkening back to like the 80s, 90s, WWF, when you just didn't see that much black people. So the person that helped me out, yeah, big up Willow Spray. Make some fucking up Willow Spray. Billy Goat. Billy Goat. Billy Goat. Billy Goat. Billy Goat. That's 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 why his, his people call him Billy. That's why he's known as known as Bill's known as Billy. Uh, we're gonna quickly say the story. So basically, when he had that back neck injury and he, he vacated the title, came back, you know, was at home. I messaged him, you know, wanted to see how how he was. I went to see him, and then he asked me, "What are you doing?" Because we used to do backyard wrestling. So the story goes. So basically, I was in the same class as his ex girlfriend now, one of his best mates, Brooke. Big up Brooke. <laughs> Big up Brooke. Brooke Shields. Not the actual Brooke Shields, there's another Brooke Shields. Uh, so she heard me and my boy in class, because I did performing arts, we were talking about wrestling. And she was like, oh, uh, my boyfriend does wrestling. I was like, really? Show me a clip. And I see this young guy here, this young skinny kid doing flips and stuff like that, looking like Rey Mysterio. And I was like, Yo, your boyfriend is dope. 
and I had a boy of mine who who wanted to be a wrestler. He was like training with like Al Snow people, whatever it was. And then and I was like, yo, you need to go to Rainham, like, cause Bill had his own like backyard wrestling uh, fed called RCWA, like yeah. a different RCW, not the one that his mum runs. And then my boy went there, cause originally I was gonna go with him, but I kept I kept ducking out. I was like, oh, I don't have enough money, cause it was every Sunday, so like every other Sunday, I, was like, oh, I don't have that much money. And then. When we did performing arts, we had like a thing called band night and I used to host it. So Bill got invited because, you know, Brooks, my classmate, everyone came there and I was hosting on stage. No script, it's just me being me. So Bill saw me and then at the end of the show, he was blown away. He goes, oh, dude, that was incredible. You should come down. So I went down there. I, I was like a manager on and off for RCWA. And, you know, that's how I know him, you know, because, you know, we used to chop it up, train, you know, train, do stuff in, in the ring and, and everything. But I was mostly, his, his, I was also his manager. So one of my ex-client <laughs> is a former, you know, IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. But yeah, we, you know, we all stayed, stayed in contact after, you know, became professional and after the whole backyard thing ended. But yeah, there's a small like group of, us that we still have a group chat you know when he was forming united empire you know when he wanted to change character and stuff like that sometimes he's still checking with his boys to see hey i'm thinking of doing this what's your opinion like you know i so i'm probably one of the reasons why i don't want to take no the thing is it's quite hey, hard hey, 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 listen listen hey, hey, listen <laughs> i do want to take it but also bill where's the united empire t-shirt you promised me brother like <laughs> he had a football t-shirt you know i'm just saying it one's coming out though Listen, he told me, he told me, I was like, listen, I was like, brother, 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 brother look, look, hook a brother up, man. Hook a brother. Yeah, 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 sure. Send him my address. Listen, when you become an IWGP world champion, communication can be a bit brazy sometimes. <laughs> so that's what it is. Yeah, but, you know, I want people to know that he's a good guy. He's the, one of the main reasons. Because I told him, wrestle talk, and his eyes lit up, basically. He was like, I got Oli's number. Do you want his number? I was like, hey, I don't even know this Oli person. <laughs> I don't know this Oli. I said, like, if you just chat to him, gauge him, and then just let me know. So he gauged him. He goes, uh, his email only said uh, email him so I spent a whole week thinking about this because this is like for me a big opportunity right I was like how do I go about it should I just give a CV should I do a polite you know uh, email or, or so forth and then um I decided to do a Tough Enough style video. You remember back in the day, oh, Tough Enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know them ones when you do a video, oh, I want to be a WWE superstar. Yeah. So I did a whole video of like why, you know, you should take me on a wrestle talk. And I even mentioned, listen, lack of diversity is a bit milky. You need a little bit of chocolate in there. <laughs> and then towards the end of the video, I got, I told my missus, I was like, you need to spray baby oil on my chest. She's like, no, no, no. I said, no, trust me. <laughs> you need to spray baby oil on my body. So Gigolo, Jimmy Del Rey, because I love heavenly bodies. That, that, that's how obscure of a tag team. I love Gigolo, Jimmy Del Rey. I love how he gyrates his body so i played the music <laughs> i stripped I'm off congolese, so hey hey yeah. listen <laughs> did you not did you did you not hear the intro yeah, the congolese yeah, snake yeah, hips yeah. came into effect so my missus start psh, 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 with a baby oil and i start spreading it on my body and listen they love the video they love the video they said they like my vibes but they had no vacancies at the time so they said they'll keep me in mind you know when people say that you're like okay I'm, i may never hear from them then Someone recently who's now become redacted uh, was leaving Wrestling Daily. A spot opened up and then Pete Quinnell emailed me. He's like, hey, you know, Louis Dango's leaving and, you know, we're, we're looking for someone. They trial me. They said, if I get over, basically, they'll keep me around for longer. So I'm, I'm all like, flipping heck. Can I swear, guys? Can I swear? No, yeah, class, class, class. <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> I need to, you know, them ones we like, they've never seen a black person before. We're like, oh, no, you know what? Shout out SP3. SP3 is my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, seeing SP3 on in Wrestling Daily, I was like, you know what? That, that's, a, that's a good spot. So I did my thing. I did my first show with Toga, like JR. Listen, I was harkening back to when JR did WrestleMania oh, nine. 9. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Six, six, six. So within a week, I got over, and then no one ever told me I passed my probation. I just I kept appearing. Yeah, yeah. And that was the first time I ever met Alex. In fact, yeah, on the day I was doing the show, because no one told me anything. He's like, this is the, this is the time. They didn't tell me about StreamYard and stuff like that, all that kind of thing. So when the day came, I was like, okay, I know it's that time. This is that Alex McCarthy guy. So I DM'd him. I was like, hey, hi, I'm Sat, and I'm doing a show with you today. And he went, LOL. He goes, I know. <laughs> like, I know, I know everything. Because I was like, did, 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 did tell him that I'm working with him today? Like, does he know? Because it was getting close to the hour, and I was like, no details, nothing. I was getting shook of and then, listen, he calmed me down. We went on air. And before on air, he just, you know, the most warm, lovely individual, yeah. Alex McCarthy. Alex Alex down, you know, you know when you're, you know some people got a persona, that, that's how he is. Genuine guy. He's the kind of guy that will give a t-shirt off his back. He's the one who told me about you guys, man. Like, I want to say cool he is a huge in, endorser and ambassador for wrestling. So I just want to say, oh, like, big, big up Alex McCarthy. But yeah, that's my story. And I, listen, 
I I'm trying to be the, the Eddie Murphy of Saturday Night Live with, with, with Russell Two. That's what I'm trying to do, you know. So for me, it's like by seeing a black person, I'm hoping it inspires more people to be like, I can talk about wrestling too. I can do this. And when I heard about wrestling things, and I saw you guys. I was like. This is legit sick. This is like guys from my neighborhood in Canning Town talking about wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did performing us. They beat they beat the, the ethnicity out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the RP way of talking. <laughs> Even though there's some racist people that still say they can't understand what I'm saying, but that's on them. <laughs> Yo, for real. Look, you know it's, it's mad because when you enter these somebody's spaces, you gotta try it. Because I speak very fast. I, if I, I can turn it up, don't so don't even I'll talk about I'm talking about words right now. So when I speak to somebody, I'll be like, yeah, so. Stone Cold on the Rock, um, amazing superstars. I got, you, you got, you got, you got to turn up like this, isn't it? You know what I mean? When I, okay, okay. So you know what? Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you put it up. You're not the only one. No, no, no. Listen. Let's talk about that. Yeah, Code Switch. Listen. Have you seen the film? Are you, are you guys into films? Have you seen? Have you, there's, a, there's a film here yeah, with Lakeith Stanfield it's called Sorry to Bother You. Oh, great, yes. great, film. great film. Right. It's about Code Switching. Yeah, yeah. So funny you said that. So when I did my first wrestling news, yeah, I was so calm. I was like. Delivering the news like this, because I also did like I did the radio voice, yeah. boy down here. So I said, "Who is you smooth? Oh, who's this new person, smooth operator?" So I had like decent like reviews of how I was hosting the news. Then the next week, why is this guy so slow? He's like he can't read. Like that's what the comments. I, I do have blessed comments. I want people to know that there are some people that you know sh- show me love, but I do see a lot of ignorant people in the comments. Like it's ridiculous, and I'm like, I'm speaking English like everyone else. I don't understand how you're not understanding me. Even to the point like recently, we've changed the format of our wrestling news, and I'm doing a more Trevor McDonald like uh, delivery. And then I'm like, if you're saying that you can't understand me, you're just being racist because I'm putting the most poshest way of delivering my lines right now. If you cannot understand how I'm saying this, you are. <laughs> Have you man gotten this? Because I used to, because it's funny you say you come from a performance background because I did like drama at GCSEs and I used to like audition for like different things. But um, I remember like speaking one time um, after like we did our school play and some and like different people from different like drama schools would come and watch a school play. And after, and, and in the school play, that one of the characters was like African. So I did African accent and I spoke normally. I'll never forget this. It's like this old white guy came up to me. He's like, oh my God, you speak so fluently. And I was oh, like, wow. What do, what, what do you want me to speak? <laughs> as? Like, like, like what, what do you want me to do? Like, what do you want me to speak? As? Like, and I was like, I'm, I clearly go to a school in England. F- I'm for born real. Here. Mm-hmm. What do you, do, do you think the accent was real? Like, this is a drama performance. Uh, but he's like, it's the fact he said you speak so no, eloquently. I was like, but how else? If you ask them to spell eloquently, they don't have to spell it. No. <laughs> and I was like, brother. Nah, but for, for real, it's been, it's been a journey. And I also want to big up, you know, Ollie and Luke. Those are the people that helped me out as well. Like, they don't want to change the time. When I was doing the NXT podcast, if you realise, they changed the hours. That's because I told them, like, I got work. So they were flexible around me. Even, like, Saturday when I do the, the news and, and the podcast, the reason why the podcast is not live anymore is because I told them, like, listen, I can't do, like, the full-time hours because I got a daughter who's not turning one, man. I want to be there. Sense, you know what I'm saying? Fatherhood. Father, man. No, no, for real. It's, like, it's a great opportunity like, I don't, like, you know, poo-poo the opportunity that's been given to me. It's just, like, my partner looks after my child, like, our child, every day. When I'm coming home from work, I'm tired, and she's like, she had it all day. It's my turn to step exactly. in. Yeah. And in the weekends, most of the time you spend time with your child, you're trying to get to know you. But then my child's getting to know me, like, was it one and a half days? Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? So for me, it was quite hard, but my partner was very supportive. It actually, it was her idea. She goes, what if you do half days and stuff like that? And then they just push things back. So they said, oh, we'll get back to you. And they said, you know what? We're going to dust up Dynamite. Um, was it Was it Rampage? We're not going to do Rampage anymore. And we'll just record SmackDown and then you'll be free to go home. So they've been amicable. So I want to big up Wrestle Talk. They've been nothing but nice to me. So uh, I appreciate them. Oh, man. Up. Yeah. No, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. Like, honestly. Is, can we call it? It's historic, right? That they've you've been the first black like, person, man. So. They also call me the diversity hire, which I hate. Uh, I hate no, 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 no. In the comment section, listen. I, I read the comment section for laughters. You know, you know them ones when you read something, you're like, you want to gauge the audience you interact with. And I did say on my first uh, wrestling news, I said I'll, 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 sp- I'll, 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 I'll murk anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, for a few weeks here, yeah, no one was, yeah. and people were. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, the live shows are coming. I'll be like. <laughs> 
<laughs> say it to my face, but you know what? Keyboard warriors are keyboard warriors. So no, I have to keep no, it. No, sometimes, no, no. Sometimes keyboard warriors, yeah, need a smack of the keyboard themselves. Yeah. So what you, you, you know what you need to take, take a picture of the photo, yeah, and take it to the shrine. That's what you need. Uh, do. listen. Don't play around me. Listen. I'll just say take it to the shrine. I'm, 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 I'm not going to hit the phone. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Again, I don't want to. I'm not on that. I'm not on that. I'm not on that. Listen. I'm not on that. I love God. I love God. I love God. I love Jesus. Jehovah. All I want to say, yeah, anything negative I may do, yeah, is not affiliated with wrestle talks. I'll smack up any of these. Some people need to learn a lesson. For real, listen, listen. So when you read it, I'm like, you you wouldn't say that to me in real life if sometimes, you met me. Sometimes you just need the old school like flogging, like when the belt comes out, just, <laughs> just <laughs> Django Unchained, man. Just where you see you see that back in the day where like you obviously didn't have internet, so someone chats shit in school, you're hearing that loud. Mm. Oh, I think says something about artist. Then you, you you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you squabble. <laughs> you squabble. Yeah. <laughs> you can never shake hands. Or you can just fuck off. Like it needs, yeah. People need to get that lesson. But at the end of the day, like people who like are upset that black people are entering this space, you are going to be depressed soon. Yeah. But there's going to be a lot of us. Oh soon. yeah. Soon. Oh yes. There's a lot we'll of break, us we'll here now. Doors, man. You're, you're, you're going to be very very upset, and I will, and I and, and I will be smiling at your demise. So, yeah. Another thing I want to say is what well, I want to see more. I want to see more black people. I want to see women as well. You know what yes. I'm saying? I, I want to see divert. When the word diversity, it doesn't mean just. It, like I benefit from it. And when I say diversity, I want it to be representative of the wider culture and the wider world. I want to see an Asian person talking about wrestling on on on, yeah. on wrestle talk and cultaholic. I'm sorry, all the major publications that people are checking out about wrestling. Yeah, please have a person of color. Don't be always a diversity hire. I I got I got hired simply from the fact that I sent an entertaining video. You That's do it. That what you do? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because yeah. I'm one of those people. I, I consider myself like a a. It's gonna sound weird. I'm saying I kiss him. I kiss him myself like a Roman Reigns, where he flopped NFL. Oh, <laughs> he didn't have to do indies because the, the, you guys, you guys, you know, you hustled to get where you are. I want to big up rest things, by the way. You guys hustled where you are. Oh, oh, still hustling, bro. Listen, sometimes, I, sometimes yeah, it hurts my throat. Pause. I know what you're thinking. That shirt I saw Roman Reigns wearing looked dope. I need to get that new Karen Cross T-shirt. I want to feel oozy like the Usos. We've got a link below to our WWE shop. Make sure you guys check it out. Tons of t-shirt designs from the WWE that you might want to get. What's stopping you now? Before we, pull, before we get back to the video, click on it now. Nah, do, do you hear me? Click on it now. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. Speak soon. Stop saying pause. Listen, own it. Listen, I, I, I say things. No, low key. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'll look at anyone. Because he won't say pause. Because he won't say because he doesn't. We're going to stop, but then we realize we have to use adverts. So, yeah. Oh, there's a pause he does advert in. Well, that was a pause. That's mine. But do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? He's spoken so many times about this situation where, like, I'm just fatigued about it. It's like. We try so we try so much. We try so much. We do a lot. And what 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 kind of put things in perspective? Like when we went to LA, went to states. Yeah, a lot of these a lot of these America like Americans like, oh, y'all gonna do press at um, AW right? I was like, hell no. What about WWE? WWE don't hit you up? Hell no. So it's like we're having to like, not even build it, but we don't we don't even know what to do, bro, anymore. We felt like everyone. We know who we are. We know, yeah. and we know that the 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 wider powers know who we are. But at the mm. same time, it's like. What, what what gives like yeah. what, what what are we missing to the point where we're not getting opportunities that we know nah, we should be getting or where we it's it's, it's like, like I mean? film it's like film i compare it to film so like if film yeah it's like when you're popping you're popping they'll grab your agencies oh let me represent you let me do this let me do this let me do this i'm sure the same thing with acting as well oh for real let me, let me represent you let me do this but it's like they don't really see the potential from early you see for example where you get some. You see, like a, a like a kid in the park. He's banging football. He's taking shots. Mm. Every single shot that he's taken is hit crossbar. Mm. This kid's got this kid's got potential. Let's invest in this kid. You got know I mean? They don't yeah. do that. Like it's like they wait for you to blow up, blow then, up, and it's too late by them because it's like I don't know who to trust. You know what it is as well. The, the, the annoying thing is you blow up, and then they say I can help propel you for ten percent fee. But when yeah. you're blowing up, we've had a ten percent fee. But now they want to uh, like a piece of what you did. Yeah. The work by yourself. I know what you're talking about because I recently had a meeting because uh, I was pitching a podcast idea to a, a channel and stuff like that. And I don't have any agency representation or stuff like that. And I told her, I don't have any representation. This is an idea. So invest in me from the beginning. Don't let me do my own thing because I've been hustling. I, I had my own YouTube channel. Yeah, Fun enough, I had my own YouTube channel. And eventually I was going to start talking about wrestling content. Fun enough, uh, you know, Bill helped me with the opportunities. What actually pulls that from happening? So 
the fact that I've got an idea and I'm pitching it, and then, then you can tell that they, they go, oh, we've got people like the Joe Wicks, blah, blah. If we pitch your idea, you'll be going against like the Louis Theroux. And I'm like, that that chicken that chicken shop date girl, Amelia de Moldenberg, she was, she was a what? Just a blonde girl yeah. talking to gram artists, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you then switch over for her per se. It's just like, oh, what's Getz doing there? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, what's well, Getz doing in the chicken shop? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Eventually, uh, her style of humor got over yeah. and then eventually, you know, she became the, the star as well. Yeah. But it's kind of like, even that Stephen Bartlett guy, see, Diary of a CEO. Yeah, yeah. Some light skin. B- B- BBC about him now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Diary of a CEO. Do you care about him? No, I'm like, the quality of guest is what got me into the podcast. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's quite dry. It's like, so, that, oh, that, that, very dry. That, 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 that thing you said there, but the, the emotion and the feelings, it quite. Can you capture that? Okay. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Can you speak on this? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What, what was your yes. Tell me, tell me about your mentality. When you, when you mentioned, <laughs> when you mentioned your mum dropped her pancake. Yeah. <laughs> Why? 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 When you mentioned that part when your mum dropped her pancake, I went back to a, an emotion and a feeling. And it, uh, you know what? I was like, big up to you, man. You're actually getting these people to open up and it's quite interesting. But I'm like, who is this, who is this guy? That's yeah. a dragon den guy. I just recently yeah, yeah, yeah. found out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, say what they know was a dragon den I discovered Ethereum. Yeah. Reminds me of when I caught my first million. How? How? Bro. It'll be like. You I know. Know. He's even Nigerian as well. He's Nigerian? Yeah. No. Yeah. no. Yeah. As in fruit, fruit. He's half Nigerian. Yeah, half Nigerian. Oh, ba- oh, yeah, oh, mama, oh. mama, you must be mama. Bart's less, yeah? What's his Nigerian name? I don't know. No, but he. His Nigerian name is Dow. Stephen How? Bartlett. He'll be like, you're a successful man. I opened my business at M19. How do you deal with the. No, but let me say something. You guys are on the cusp. You're, 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 you're breaking out. The fact that you've had your notable names on your show, that's not into sneeze at. That puts you on a different level. Someone is starting a, a, a channel right now. So you just know, yeah, don't think about, oh, what I don't have. Think about what you do have. Yeah. The fact that yeah, I, you know, I'm me being here. I'm excited being here. It's not like, oh, this rest things, guys. They're lucky to have me. I'm like, no, I'm gassed. You guys and Grap City are my two favorite of the black content creator doing wrestling. Yeah, they, they're great guys. You know, you know, Phil Reg. You know, Will Washington. You know, I was happy. I did day after Dynamite before he left. So I'm happy. But I'm on the list of people that did this show. But all the black content creators out there, I'm so happy to see them grow and blossom. And then you guys will have your time. You guys are probably like one of the, the, the leading like. Gatekeepers of talk about wrestling in the UK. You guys are carving out your space. Which face exit? This one? What are you walking up for? No. Bro, you're gassing me, man. No, I need no, you need gassing up. I'm giving I came here to give you flowers. I don't know. You you made thought yeah, that you you brought me here to gas me up. Nah. I came here to let you guys know, yeah, you guys are incredible. You guys are phenomenal. You inspire me. You you, I inspire you. No, no, you inspire me. You keep doing what you're doing. I'm I'm part of the machine now. I got the machine gassing me up. But you guys don't have no machine. You got you don't you don't have no Oli, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying so please keep doing what you're doing yeah I know like being a content creator there's sometimes some depression will creep in because you know you're looking at other people's success don't look at other people look in the mirror look what you guys are doing you guys are doing phenomenal things you guys are creating a, a yeah. brand I am excited to be part of that's why I want to link up with you guys do a Black, a black History episode because I know it will be lit you guys are entertaining you're not some hi we're going to talk about wrestling today and we're going to talk about her huh, see and Punk is coming back no Nah, yeah. you guys talk authentic. This this shit is real. You guys are real. Gas yourself up. Don't be humble. Stop yeah. with the humble grab. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Hey, yeah, exactly. It was his hat. No. All right. You know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, feel it, feel it. I came here, I came here. I feel like church. Is that, is that church? I'm shaking my hands in church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. You know what? Yeah. And Alfie, I'm going to throw it back to you, but I, you know, because the fans are thinking too about wrestling, but I just wanted to say, you it's guys, needed, it's, needed, it's, needed. it's needed. You guys need this pep talk here yeah, because you're, I'm seeing us breaking out. When you guys went to WrestleMania and I'm seeing your videos, you're hanging out, you're hanging out with Seahawk. Seahawk who don't follow me back on this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's one of like the leading finger, figures here of talking about wrestling media and he knows you guys and he's bigging you guys up. You, you, your video went viral. How the heck he does not know you guys on the cusp? If they know you in America, what does that mean? It means you're breaking into America. I can't lie, bro. I watched the video the other day, yeah, bro. I nearly like cried again, you know. We was looking at downtown LA, yeah. 
We just walking and we saw the sign. We saw Trish Stratus, we saw Cody Rhodes. Yeah. We stopped. I was like, Joe, you just film out here because nice angle and stuff. And that's what that scene. Yeah, we're going to lock it off there, bro. Go on. No, I've got that sequel because it's footage on my phone. Every time I look at it, I just think deep that. Like, now it's looking to a thousand people's likes, like actual. It's crazy. Like, exactly. Crazy. And we we'll stood there and we're we'll filming. I was like, closing off the video and there goes, wait one sec. There goes, bro, we just came from one of the biggest events oh, at yeah, WrestleMania yeah, this weekend. People knew us out there. This just goes to show that what we're doing in UK is not in vain. Yeah. I watched it back. So I just got goosebumps again. You don't get goosebumps now. Yes. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm get, my line. Get, listen, get the goosebumps for real. You right. guys have done this. You know, you all linked it together. In your mind, it shouldn't work, but it works. It is a great. There's no one like you guys. You know, like this Enzo Mori says, you can't teach that. You can't teach what you guys got. It's intangible. You guys got a solid crew. So whatever you do, do not stop now. I think so. Don't no no no! Don't stop. You guys are on the cusp. The, the worst things for you guys. Cusp, yeah, on yeah, on you're on the cusp. cusp. How do you spell cusp again? C U S P. No 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 no. <laughs> you 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 wanna listen? Uh, uh, nobody's gonna see this yet, but I'll be trying to make people say this yet, and no one wants to say this. Let me let me let me find this. What's that? What's that? That's what I see. <laughs> say out loud. I'm not saying that. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. You say, you say, say it. Say it, man. No, 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 no. Say, say, say it. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. I'm not saying this. No, 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 no. You, you're a bad boy. Yes, <laughs> yes, I am. I the right, exactly. <laughs> no. No, say it out loud. No, no, don't. <laughs> but I don't get it. Before okay. we get redacted. You know, we get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, I'm going to keep it a buck, but you guys on the cusp, do not stop. I feel like it is your year. Your year is coming. It is your year. You know, each year you guys are growing more and more. So anyway, I'm going to shut my mouth. Back to you guys. What are we talking about? What's causing all this? What's the wrestling things we're talking about? <laughs> Thank you very much. That was proper needed, man. Honestly, Fuck man. It's proper nice. I mean, yeah, like you said, one of Let's make some noise for something, man. Honestly, like, honestly man. This is Thank you, brothers. Man, special, man. Um, yeah, plenty of stuff happened this week, man. First and foremost, um, Seth is literally on his way to Hollywood. I, no, he's actually in Hollywood now. A new Marvel Captain film, America. Captain America, which is big. Big up Seth Rollins, man. It's his time. It's his time. Um, Roman, Roman is gonna go for the tag team titles against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. You heard me right. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are gonna be in Saudi Arabia. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah mad. Um, but before we get into all of that, guys, just talk about Collision, man. They dropped the news today. Great, great, great news. I'm looking forward to it. I hope. Mm-hmm. I hope. They give us a new Titantron. I want the still bars like Nitro. I want copy the whole Nitro thing. Copy it all. You want Eric Bishop to start crying, yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. On his podcast, yeah? Big, big man thing. Hmm. Copy it all. The lighting, every single. The sparklers. Sparklers, yeah, everything. Because spark- yeah. even what's mad here, the logo looks like Nitro. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it was purposely yeah, done yeah. like that. Rinse it. Mm. Rinse the whole thing, fam. I don't want to see LED. Bro, it's so mad. It looks like this is the second coming of WCW. Yo, he wanted to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. if he could, he can, he'll buy like the whole WCW library uh, from yeah. WWE if he could. Tony Khan, I'm saying. So yeah, how do you guys feel about that? People saying it's a brand brand split, but it's not looking like a brand split. Obviously, look, look, look you see the um, actually we don't even know. It seems like a rotor. I call it a rotor. Oh, yeah, you talk about this, like that. Yeah, rampage is gonna be like a rampage is gonna be like a B show, like a Sun like, Night Heat main event type, mm. type show in it. So that's that's cool. But what's, what's your guys' thoughts on that? You guys happy about it? Ah, uh, yeah, I think Collision sound, like on paper it sounds like a good idea. Obviously, we're here. We, we saw on the poster guys like Andrade. Uh, Miro, obviously it looks like House of Black might be a permanent fixture on the show. So with Collision, <clears throat> like I'm excited to see what it turns into. Obviously, we know Punk's going to be the main person on that That's show. That's one that I was missing on the poster. When I when, when someone put in a Discord, mm. I ran to Twitter first. I didn't want to see Discord first because someone ruins it. He's getting announced. I want to see, want to see the picture. Of he's Jump getting announced today. I, f- I feel like he's coming back today. Oh, I feel like he's coming back today. Don't do this to me. I feel like he's coming back to either. I feel like I don't think he'll make like maybe either he makes an appearance today on Dynamite or yeah. backstage. I think he come backstage. Yeah, mm. that backstage. I'm gonna be on Collision, innit? it? Because that's what I feel like. Cash on Collision, 17th of June. Yeah, that's what I think the thing's gonna be. But obviously, mm-hmm. like you know, it's a big time for AW, and obviously you know they sold my tickets for All In, but you know there's still tickets to be sold, and you know, Collision will give spotlight to a lot of guys that we haven't seen on TV for a while. Like I'm happy Thunder Rose is back. Obviously. With some of these guys, they haven't been used the best, and maybe this is a second chance at life, in it. So we'll see what it turns into. Um, <clears throat> but it's 
it's different. I'm excited. It's like a, it's, a, it's another second hour. Admittedly, like in the past, I've said I don't want another show, but considering how much how many talent have been sitting in catering for time, it's like you know what this second show will give a lot of these men a new lease of life in it. So and it's another two hour show. Um, on so sa- Saturday is a very tricky Saturday. time because I was thinking that a lot of events happen on Saturday. Mm. Yeah, UK, um, I'm sure in America. So what 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 time's basketball on Saturday in America? No, but basketball's on like especially playoff time. It's every, like, it's playoffs every day. Playoffs, playoffs every day. Every few days, isn't it? Especially so how's that gonna? Now we're getting into because even like when AW, finals. even when AW airs now, it airs again. It airs like right before NBA. Yeah, a, a part of me thinks the whole Saturday thing may be temporary. You know what I'm saying? They might move. They might move. They might yeah, move to a first. Like uh, I don't know. Well, what, the, could mm, be Thursday. Because Rampage is on a bad time. Rampage apparently it is. On, it's, it's on like very late in the day. Like that's why yeah. really unless unless you get Tuesday collision, yeah. Tuesday sounds good. <laughs> no, but it's Wednesday. Good. You need you need space. I think Saturdays don't need that makes sense. Mon- do you know what is? If the Monday sounds like a good day as well. But then you but don't then want me But then not, again, do you know what yeah. that does? Mm. Adrenaline! Nah, yeah, same time. Nah, <laughs> this is the night. No, 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 no. This no, is the start. No, no, no. This is the start. This is the start. Guys, listen. 90s was WWF. This is WWE. They're like McDonald's. They're franchising. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is like a, a a restaurant going against like Starbucks or something like that. You know, going off off the big chain. So in terms in terms of collision, I'm with you in terms of like. I don't have a social life that much anymore. I'm a dad now. I'm, I'll be, I'll be, I'm calm. I'll, even though I watch people the day after because. That's, that's how you go do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But for me, what's interesting is because it's like a soft or hard uh, brand split. So I use WWE as a metric of what a brand split is. Yeah. As much as we like to say our oh, WWE's brand split has been quite mixed in terms of how they utilize it. For me, the original brand split was the best one. Oh, this great. is, right? Great. Yeah, that was great. When you saw Goldberg and Brock Lesnar square off a Subversive, you, you, you had goosebumps because they never touched, yeah. they never seen each other until that kind of show. Yeah. This, when they start cross-pollinating after Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels in 2005, yeah. that's when they ruined it. Um, so you, you use that as a metric. So you think to yourself as a fan, all right, if I have collision, what belts am I going to have? That's a, first thing I went to my with belts. So with, with the women's division, it's quite easy. So it's like, Jade, is Jade, is Jade going to be a dynamite person mostly? Because you got the TBS title, it depends how you feel. It's like, oh, it's just TBS. If you're one of those fans, like with the SmackDown and Raw titles, with the women's titles, like, oh, it's on a different show. But you know, it, you, you, if, you don't, if you can't get over that. So is Jade going to be a dynamite person? And then is Jamie Hater? gonna be you know collision. on collision yeah. or if Jamie Hayter is gonna stay on um, Dynamite is uh, Jade Cargill gonna be a collision person because you need a women's title defense there as well and you can you can even argue that Jade can get more enhanced by being a collision because people have been arguing she's mostly being a rampage person you know what I'm saying you've been saying where is Jade because if you don't if you only watch Dynamite you don't see Jade that much so you think okay collision could answer that question of not seeing her often yeah. boom then you got Orange Cassidy, who's now the international champion. Yeah. Growing up as a kid, the, the international champion in, in my wrestling history was Rick Rude. He was a WCW international champion. So the international title sounds big and prestigious. You could argue... He traveled, it's true. I mean, we're in Japan and stuff, right? Yeah. I know, because we saw MJF from the poster. You're like, okay, the champion's going to be on both shows. But you, you, you can make the international title maybe a collision more title. Uh, you know, if we're doing a hard split, maybe... Because you've got, you, you got international and got TNT, yeah. so one title can go on either show. Bingo, there you go. The mid-card title's no longer like muddied and cloudy, so there's more of a focus on on, on uh, Wardlow being TNT champion on, on one of the shows. So I feel like it kind of might answer a lot of questions. It might lead to creating more belts, who knows, but... Yeah, man, there's potential there. I feel like with the belts they have right now, there's enough of a split. It's, I, I don't. One thing I don't want them to do is create another heavyweight title. I'll, I'll, mm. I'll, I'll lose it. World attack team. No, you know what? I think you no, know. No. I think the trios. I think the trios. It's fine. I think the yeah. trios is solves that. Tactic. Solves that. Yeah, yeah. You know solves, what? Yeah. Solves that issue because you mm. got the trios team, and then obviously you got FTR as a as a tag team. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think. Do you know what? I think every title has two titles except for the main one, which I'm fine with. Yeah. Every time an AW has like an alternative or something equivalent to it. Mm. Why don't you want the um, two? Why don't you want there to be two main ones? Because I, because, because, because I, they, they should always be. My opinion, it should always be one prize in wrestling. Yeah. Everyone should be competing for the same exact prize. Once you got that, there should be one thing that's the biggest thing, that's the most important thing. Once you get, I'm the champion of, I'm champion of Collision. I'm champion of, <laughs> who's fucking champ? There's one. There's one because I complain about interim champs and all this. I want one fucking title. Could you, one champion I, I, that goes both shows. I don't want this. I do agree with that. 
but there was t- there was times where back in the day, what 2004, 2003, when you had like Brock as a champ or un- Untake as a champ, un- Brock as a champ on one thing and Untake as a champ on another place. Mm. And like you said, when it came together, it was like, oh my days, mm. this is beef. Yeah, that, that, but that the, works but the, then, the thing is, so the new. thing is, and so also, what if, what if, no, but the thing is as well with that year, remember, and obviously like they just bought, they bought WCW a few years ago and had like a title to use. Oh, yeah. So it's like, okay, we've consolidated essentially, even though it's still WWE, we've got another company mm. and we've got another title, might as well use it. Now for me, for me, if, if they if they artificially create a new title for no fucking reason, it's like, no, like I feel like titles should be rare. I don't like the fact that every you get a title, you get a title. The title should be the rarest thing in the company. So that means you're, nope. you're, MJF is working both. M- MJF has, should be across both. He doesn't like, he doesn't have to like wrestle like Wednesday and and Friday, but he should make, have a presence. If there's a week he's not on Dynamite, he should be on Collision and vice versa. I feel like the ti- the champion being the champion shouldn't be easy. They're like, when we say this person should be, uh, being a champion in any sport, yeah, is the minority of people. Mm-hmm. They should, they, it's the minority. Think, think about boxing, think about boxing's fuck. Yeah, I'm, I was about, about, about to mention boxing. Fuck. Boxing with 10,000 with titles. I've seen W, I've seen W, I've seen Bear WBC. Yeah, you no, know, boxing's fuck. But when, when, when I think about <laughs> UFC's got it right. UFC. Mm. The lineage of the, there's, they have, might have so interim champions. Champion. Can you see? No, they've, they've got one, one title. One world division. title, yeah, one title yeah, division. Like, women's got a title and men's got a title. Yeah, yeah they've got yeah, bantamweight, featherweight for women. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. yeah. But, but, but in your division, there's only one championship to win. Yeah, the there's heavyweight. Only, so for me, it's like the honour of being a champion is I climbed the mountain of all of these wrestlers and I am the number one. I am not one A or one B. I am one. Mm. That's how wrestling for me has all, should always be. I don't like multiple titles. But he didn't, he didn't, he didn't enjoy... Uh, Rufus Aggression then? Rufus Aggression was cool, but that's what I grew up with. But now it's like, with AEW, I don't want that. I want AEW to have one. No, but the thing is, yeah, uh, AEW has the same issue WWE has, which is the, a bloated roster. I feel like back in the days, yeah, you, it, was, it was quite easier to focus because I feel like back in the days, we were conditioned that only certain type of guys would get the chance. Yeah. We're now in a generation where... Someone like Serpentico could possibly be world champion if he gets enough yeah, <laughs> fanfare. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll stop watching the product. <laughs> Is it? No, I'm using no, that. If I, if, I, if I get you, I might get over you. I'm using that as an example. Yeah, I'm saying like, fan. you never know. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw that. Yeah. I'm like Fuego. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. we live. <laughs> I'm more for Fuego than Pentecost. I'm using an example. I'm using an example. We live in a generation where we want everyone to be given opportunity. Back in the day, they told you Juventud is not going to be world champion, so you're fine with that. You know what I'm saying? The mid mid cards. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, yeah, there was quite, there's like a ceiling. Nowadays, it's kind of like, because we're like the generation that's taken over, we're like, oh, yeah, we we grew up in an era where we wanted Malenko and, you know, the Redacted and Guerrero and Jericho to succeed. So I'm mindset is now the today mindset we're teaching the younger generation that we want anyone to, to succeed even like Shelton Benjamin you want Shelton Benjamin to be world champion you want this guy to be world champion but Mr. Perfect <laughs> wait wait, wait is, is, Slando, is it Slando is it Slando no, and Shelton Benjamin's no, life no, 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 no. <laughs> perfect but, 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 it's Slando, 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 I can't lie with, Mr. Mr. with Mr. Perfect yeah I can't lie I felt sorry for him because who was up against myth look but, at the people who was up against but do you know what yeah I and like, that title was what I was on I like I like I like losers in wrestling I yeah. can't like I like some people where it's like, do you know what? I never won the title. I, I, for me, rarity makes something important. Razor Ramon's another guy that rarity like won. like how ra- rarity in the title just mm. makes it feel like, you know what? I can't. Why can I not get this? Why can't like when there's an elite class of people that have only won this title? I know it just makes the title feel more valuable. Mm-hmm. And if it's like, do you feel like AW books lose as well? Do you no. feel like there's anybody that has been in big title situations where you can look at them and be like, you know what, I, I can continuously root for you even though I know you're never going to get that title? Kingston. Uh, that's for me personally. That's not even from AW though. He's always He's been, like been a no, loser. Can I, can I say, can I say like, I, I don't, don't feel like AW really books. Loser. I I'm there's probably one, the rarest one. person I'll say is, I genuinely don't believe Danielson. Tony Danielson. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say Danielson. I don't think I don't think Tony Khan's a great booker. Danielson doesn't want it. I think he's a great matchmaker, but I think the way he books, especially the way he books AEW and the way he books Ring of Honor. That's you terrible. know what, yeah, that's a conversation we probably need to have uh, on another day because I do want to break down his booking philosophy because in the early days of, of Dynamite, you heard like the 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 credit go to like Cody, right? And the oh, yeah, Bucks yeah, on the Mega. Yeah, remember yeah, them yeah, days? Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, we didn't really Tony Khan was yeah. yeah. So I don't know if it was like back in the days it was more of a community. Because nowadays, yeah, they kind of gone gone against the ethos, which was was you know the wrestlers kind of. Nowadays, it is like because Tony Khan is an experiment, right? 
it was, there was like there's pros and cons with that experiment and you see more of the cons nowadays because the inmates trying to run the asylum so Tony can't realise I can't be everyone's best friend I actually have to be the boss now so now he's trying to create structure so we're going to see if the structure him doing structure is going to work but also the issue I feel like is because we gassed him up in the beginning yeah. it's quite hard for him it's like he can't let go or, like if, if he hands some of that responsibility to someone else that person's going to get you know bigged up not just him I think he likes the fact and that he he's the the, he loves the credit I realised that after the whole NWA thing where he was like yeah I, 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 I paid for some of the NWA I know that wasn't even a question right and he, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you don't need the credit for anything do you know what I mean I feel like he does his hand off a bit of responsibility because it is showing in... Like, I watch AW week to week and I do enjoy it here and there. Mm. Ring of Honor, I, I'm, I'm suffering, I can't lie. <laughs> I'm absolutely suffering. How come? I just I just don't think it's booked well. It's booked like a major da um, dark and elevation. Yeah, I don't think... Like, I... His formula of the way he books is like, yeah. okay, cool, for example, you have someone like Sky Blue that is winning matches on Ring Duck. of Honor. Mm. But then on Dark Elevation, Dark, she's losing to the big people in AW. So at this point, it's like... It feels oh. like a feeder system. Yes, it doesn't even feel like Ring of Honor and um, AW, there's, there's no like... Equivalence. Synergy. There's no synergy between it. It's like, if you're a loser on um, Ring of Honor, if you're a loser on um, AW, you're going to be someone that's going to be pushed on Ring of Honor. And it's like, there should be some sort of synergy. I feel like... Now, why is Claudio getting amazing fanfare on Ring of Honor and AW, but people he's facing are scrubs on AW Dark? But yeah, then these are people I should sense. care for in um, Ring of Honor. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I've yeah. got a question, though. Do you not feel like Tony Khan has a lot on his plate? Got too, much. Of he's got yeah. too much. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. But that's Rampage. why... Fulham, and he's got the... But, uh, Jack but that's, why Jack Jack was, was, yeah. that's why I was happy when I saw the Will Washington thing, because I was like, okay, cool. One, big up Will Washington. But big up two, Will Washington. it was kind of like, okay, like, let's, let's start divvying up responsibility. Because I do think... Tony, I do like Tony Khan as a booker. I don't think he's an amazing booker, but I do like stuff that he does. But I feel like anything, if you've got the same cook cooking everything, the recipe is mm, going to be the same. the same. It's going to taste the same. Mm. If, 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 do you know what I'm saying? Like everyone, yeah. everyone has, no, every human being has their biases and fallacies. We can look at Vince Man. You can look at every booker. Yeah. Every book has the same um, formula sheet. Mm. Oh, for but real. The, but the problem is, is that now Tony Khan, he's got Dynamite, Rampage. Yeah. Collision, uh -huh. RH. Ring of Honor. Uh -huh. Then and the thing is with Tony, we know he's a very hands-on person. So at, at some point in time, we have unconscious biases. You're gonna start doing the same thing here and yeah. there. And that's what it looks like. He's it's gonna start doing the same thing here and there. And the thing is, no matter you listen, you could serve me the best. You could serve me the best um, daba. Mm, that if was I nice. eat daba Monday. Tuesday, it's gonna, Wednesday, it's gonna your mouth. but mm. Thursday. Put the I onion mean, in your mouth, bruv. I might go on a vegan diet. I might street? go on a vegan oh, diet. No, 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 no. Or oh, 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 some lotion like this. Yeah, like, but this is what I'm No, 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 but you might think he's like creating a universe mode where he just simulates Monday, Tuesday, but he focuses on Wednesday, Thursday. His universe mode is he will do a month. Yeah. He's now bored. Let me now start again. Yeah, yeah. Let me now pull a different <laughs> brand. That's that's Tony Khan's <laughs> universe more booking. But, but at, at the same time, yeah, shout out to Tony Khan for being a new brand of booker because we could have more Vince Russo. Oh, we could have had be, regurgitated, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. He has, the, the thing is, because I, I want people to know that, you know, we, we do pros and cons here as well, yeah, right? Yeah, you know Tony what I'm saying? Tony Khan does yeah. a lot of things right. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we can't be remiss to say that he doesn't do a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, oh, right. same, that's same. the full story. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Now, I love Tony. Listen, yeah, I appreciate, yeah. I've never called any names, anything. I love, I love, I love, Call him out as a yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. of that loves the product mm. because to be you want, because <laughs> because the thing is the get thing it on this guy. But I feel like our role as fans here, yeah, of course, like each of us has like companies we prefer. Yeah. But I feel like what we do when we like um overly praise these companies or don't call out their flaws is that we we enable their behavior. We enable yeah. their behavior, and this is the thing that that made me like. Um, say like when I when I was done with WWE, where it was like, I got so sick of the bullshit. I stopped watching, <laughs> but I got so sick of the bullshit. I stopped watching. But the thing is, like us as fans, like praise the things we like, but offer constructive criticism with things we don't like. Because if we allow the negatives to keep going, the product's gonna get shit. shit. Yes, mm -hmm. shit. And and whose fault is it? Because it's gonna be us because we kept clapping through the bullshit. So if we stop clapping through the bullshit and be like, you know what, I like this, I don't like this, fix this. Then you know, obviously, every book is not gonna acquiesce to our every need. But at the same time, if we are vocal about the things that are problem, that are major problems, some change can be made. But if we sit there like lap dogs and just and just loaf off these companies, mm. then we're gonna suffer as consumers because the product's gonna become watered down bullshit. Mm. Preach. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But I'm looking forward to collision. 
Collusion. Mm. Collusion. Was there any sauce? No, I'm Oh, is it collusion? Yeah, collusion. Collusion. I'm looking forward to collision still. The nitwit. I don't know what the direction is, but I'm I'm always gonna give it a try. What do you think about our like a hard okay, let me swap does a brand split? Work like? Do you think a brand split could work? Yes. They need something. I think they need some type of separation. Because yeah. I don't know. Because a brand split will work because it'll be a thing where it's like, cool. For example, they don't they don't not utilizing Mirror or Andrade on yeah. Dynamite. Yeah. But if they now do a brand split, they're like, these are the leading guys yeah. in Collision. Mm. These men can't go to Dynamite no more. Mm -hmm. But if they go to Dynamite, it's a special occasion. Yeah, do, do that's when I'll be like, I don't mind. Not, you know, it needs to be one of them ones where like you can identify that. Yeah, this is a Collision guy. This is a Dynamite, Dynamite guy. guy yeah, Remember yeah. back in WWE where you see a Raw guy on SmackDown? Yeah. It's like, yeah, raw, like yeah. It feels Never... too WWE for me. Man. But I the, the, the you, man. I get that. And this is the same people that were saying, it, yeah, it, um, Ring of Honor. Like we need to have a Ring of Honor as its own brand. It's like no, Ring of Honor needs to be its own company. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, it is. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. For me, I feel like a. Brand split. Ring of Honor needs to be binned. <laughs> from, no, not binned, but like uh, from yeah. all of these companies. It oh, needs to divest. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Mojo, if you're going to be on coll Collision <laughs> and <laughs> Dynamite. Collusion. <laughs> collusion. <laughs> collusion. <laughs> I'm going to watch Collusion as well, bro. It's Sunday. <laughs> if Samojo is going to be in Collision, he can't have the TV title. Yeah. He has to bin the Ring of Honor title. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, Does anyone have the poster up? You know what I find yeah, interesting? All right, cool. You know what I find interesting? Look at the poster, yeah. You know what I find interesting? So the guys they're showcasing right here, yeah? I don't want to be that guy, but I'm going to be that guy. How many former WWE guys do you see on that poster? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to the point, yeah, if you're one of those people, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like you know these guys. That's why you must watch it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of like NXT WWE guys. It's kind of like, oh, I'm going to watch I'm gonna watch Saturdays now. Why? Because more of my guys are on Saturdays. It's quite interesting. Them, 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 but it's, it's, it's like, back in the day, you only go to the yardy race and after they got the flyer and they put um, Tiana Taylor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the oh. Yeah. 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 So and race. you go in there, bro. Like, oh, the, reason, the reason why I'm, <laughs> <Auntie Tukumbi>. I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> the reason why I'm okay with a, with, with a semi-brand split is because it gives me a unique incentive Incentive to watch yeah, yeah. Collision. Amen. If it's if it's what Rampage is now, where it's like um, Dynamite B sides, mm. I'm 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 not if, if I'm not really invested. But if it's something where cool, I get to see a unique crop of talent that I don't get to see on Dynamite, then that's where a brand spit works. But I but I'm not with like for example, if they do a fucking draft, I'm going to lose my shit. Don't do none of that corny bullshit. As in just you get two, one, two, nothing. Don't 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 don't, don't, don't come on Dynamite and say um, see your punk is all collusion. Fuck off. I will collision. 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 Oh, collision. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's all collision. You know what? You know, what? fuck you know that what? bullshit. Collusion. Oh, uh, uh, collusion. Uh, uh, collusion. You know what? I was against what? Okay, now that you say that, if we're able to get. Oh, uh, collusion. <laughs> if, if we are going to see change within collision, oh. so we're going to see talent that we maybe have seen on Dynamite, seen on the Dark. But we know that there's gonna be some sort of push for them. Yeah. Mm. Then I'm down for a split. Yeah. But if it's now a thing of it's just Dynamite 2.0, no, it's the same old stories, it's the same old no. people that we know are gonna get the pushes, mm. it's the same matchups that we're gonna expect. We know the winner. Then I'm gonna be like, what's the no. point? My, my, no point giving us an extra two hours because we had that with Dark and Dark Elevation. Guys, so a, the, a part that we haven't really thought about, we I would like to discuss with you guys is also that the fact that if it's gonna be of a bit of a brand split or a show split, that also think about comment commentators right mm -hmm. someone like jim ross who's now become a part-timer right mm -hmm. so do you think he might be one of the new announcers for for collision with all due respect to hey. the goat jr hey. i know it's coming i know it's coming yeah. 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 he's done i'm yeah. it's yeah. cooked yeah it's cooked with all due respect oh, he's a, he's cooked. cooked we need to let go can you please let, give me an, can you please give me an example let it go wait wait you don't believe that bro, I, I just want to know why are you wait, calling wait, wait, it's, in 2023 in 2023, post Vince McMahon's um, allegations, post um, sexual awareness. Oh, why are you still that. calling? SP. 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 I, <laughs> why are we still calling female wrestlers Jezebels? Like, yeah. allow it. Yeah, I, I, like, you're out of touch. Like, he'll be like he'll be bare delayed on no, some but, of but, these calls. Like, <laughs> listen, Jr. He's a legend. He's the goat. But sometimes, let it go. Hey, you know what? I want to give you guys. You know what? Relegated to backstage yeah. interviews. I'm Respect gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this, yeah. I'm gonna add this, yeah. So Jr. went from being like the Texas rattlesnake, the cerebral assassin. Now he's like saying 
Blue Eyed Battler and the Dapper Yapper. Come on. You know what I'm saying? The Dapper Yapper. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? He used to have sick nicknames. Now his nicknames are very like Ooh, we, we put, Tin Shoes. We, we Mr. Put, Tin Shoes. Shoe. <laughs> It's nostalgia. You know, you know, you've done it over and over again. He's been at the highest. Of, he's been at the bro. He's commented one of the best matches we've seen in our lives. Yes, and I feel done. like he's got to a point where it's like done. he's basically yeah. Michael Jordan when he started playing for the Washington Wizards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The blue, the blue, the blue. No, he's past his prime. But but not to be but not to be a Debbie Downer. We all know why he's still doing this because yeah. my guy doesn't have a social life anymore. I think if his wife. Unfortunately, if his wife is still alive, right. he would have happily sure. retired sure. and chilled with his wife. But because he doesn't have a partner, yeah, it's kind of like, that's the thing to distract him. I think they know for a fact that this guy's a legend. This guy's life will turn upside down. The least we can do for him is give him that little bit of a nugget. He's so a he, name brand. So yeah. No, no. Day, like, he's always like, mm. as much as he's not where he was, he's a special attraction. Give, give us he's a special attraction now. That's why now. I say they should mm. relegate his... No, I'm not saying they should fire Jarrett, but they should relegate his role, for example. Mm. Like... I always go back to this feud, but like the whole Hangman Page story. Like the thing I loved in that storyline was when J, JR oh, sat down, sat down, sat, yeah, sat yeah. down, interviewed Hangman, interview. That's JR is still masterful at that. And, yeah. and even mm. even you fuse that Thunder Rosa and Britt Baker, he used to do stuff like that. Mm. J, that's where I feel like JR's strengths these days are in terms of like bringing like the more sports feel to stuff, bringing like, Amen, the emotional yeah. elements of storylines, like enhancing storylines. But in mm. terms of like commentating on the match, especially like, I remember there's times where obviously like, you know, there'll be like, fuck, there's a lot of like fast paced wrestlers in AEW. This guy will be lost on commentary. He'll be like, uh, 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 what's that move called? Even Tony Schiavone, who's not a moves guy, will correct him. And yeah. It's like, That's because Tony's been learning. That's what you know. I like about Tony. I'm Tony's saying. been learning. Can we also can we also blame not blame but obviously he's also going through the, the um, his cancer situation yes. as well and obviously I'm sure that's probably putting a strain on him as well. Can, is that something to also make? Like, yeah. I mean, like you said, I would even leave him to do the the backstage stuff. Yeah, or just have him do rampage. Yeah, yeah. You don't necessarily have to be on like the main show. You've, yeah. got, you've got the Tony Schiavone, you've got the Taz. You've got the Escalabar. Like. Chris, Chris Jericho. Jeez, I wouldn't even mind. I wouldn't even mind him even just doing, even just prepping him up for the main just event. Just him up for pay per view. Main yeah, event, main yeah. event pay per view. So he comes up for the main event, and he's got that JR voice. Because back in mm. the day, when really he comes for WrestleMania, you, you have to have JR for that main event. Do you got know what I mean? I can't, like, I think commentary wise, RH is the gold standard. I feel like Ian Rickard commentary. Bro, they're the best yeah, commentators yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, bro, yeah, ROH is the yeah, gold yeah, standard yeah. of commentary right now. I spoke about this um, on um, Indie, Indie Takers. Have you that? seen the recent episode of Ring of Honor? No, no, no. Last week? no, no. Nigel McGuinness is on um, commentary. Yeah. He's joining them on commentary. Oh, yeah. are, they, are they true or not yet? It's a true or not. Yeah. Mm. I can't lie. I think Nigel McGuinness is holding them back. Yeah. I think he needs a few more weeks to kind of settle in. I think yeah. where it is is that Ian and Caprice have such good chemistry. Chemistry that he's... like, they're kind of like... They're flowing, and mm. then when they now pass him the ball, it's like oh, I don't know what to do with it. But then I feel like as we can stand he's by, he's warming, he's warming, and he's into it. But yeah, I haven't really enjoyed the commentary with him on it. Really? Because yeah. I liked him with Percy Watson and um, bro, what we call it uh, when Morrow, was, when was doing Ronaldo. Ronaldo yeah, like, bro, it was great, man. I think it, I think it is. It's probably Rusty doing, doing the trail thing. It's quite because it's, it's quite hard doing the trail thing. I've done the trail thing. I've done the trail thing before, like reviewing something for a wrestle talk, and I was like, it, it's, it's quite hard if you don't have the flow. You, them, them two, you know what I'm uh, saying? Do you ever done the trail thing? I think one of you guys didn't have headphones. Yeah, it was me. So when we're commentating, yeah, yeah. you were speaking more commentary. I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's hard. Do you, hard. Do you think, think we should yeah. go back? Do you think we should go back to a two court commentator format, or do you think I think AW works? What well, three? Because when when it, have, you, have, you, have you got fired? Uh, no, I don't too, but yeah. <laughs> so I love how you said that. Yeah. I love it. It's all great. It's all great. Yeah. 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 Fight, fight, see, fight. See, sponsor see, these guys and we'll have it. They follow us on follow us. I don't know why. But um, weird. you see when they do the um picture and picture? Oh, yeah. They have... They're, they're bare funny. Oh, so yeah, they're, 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 they're very like yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like when they have that sort of that, that sort of thing. That's when a Taz effect. I call it the Taz, Taz effect. Taz yeah. is hilarious. When it, when it comes to picture picture, picture Taz takes control. It's like, oh, what, what the fuck are these guys doing? Yeah. yeah. No, because I, I, I love, I do like the new setup of Excalibur, Taz, Taz yeah. and, and then, Tony. Um, Tony. Tony. I feel like those three work well because Taz, obviously Excalibur is like, he will name, he will name every move that's, yeah, been, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. been named. And then Taz has that as well. But Taz is kind of like the intermediate between like Tony and um, Excalibur, where yeah. he can give you like the emotional beats of the match, but he can still contribute when it comes to the, that, the technicalities of wrestling. And, and that's kind of like why I like. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that Taz is rejuvenated because in Same. TNA, you thought he was washed, didn't it? Like he, it wasn't the same. Because him, for me, him, yeah, him, him and Michael Cole, him and Michael Cole, oh, you thought Michael Cole would 
that microphone will never come back until McAfee brought that back. That yeah. fun energy. Because I think that's Taz adds. Taz adds jokes. He just he just laughs at even, things. Even when sometimes you even fucking swear sometimes. Even when, mm. when Brock and um Brock and B- um, Big Shaw broke the ring, he swore. Yeah. Holy sh- you got yeah, yeah. So stuff like that is just it's great, man. He's authentic. That's what it is. He's one of those people where it's like you know he didn't go to commentary school. He he's listened. He's listened he's to sure, people, yeah. Yeah. you. know what I'm saying? He just listens and then because that that's what makes him great. He's not like I come from the you know the manufactured school of Michael Cole when I talk like yeah. this, blah blah blah. With with Tazzy, you get a special brand. Of, and then I'm I'm glad that what he's done, he's made um um I was to say Tempest because that's my boy in the basket, <laughs> but he made Excalibur um kind of chill as well because my guy was a bit wound tight. <laughs> <laughs> and then now he's like busting jokes. So you're like, wait, Excalibur kind of bust Excalibur jokes as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And it, the you know what? Because you, you, you got Jim Ross. You know, <laughs> no, because you, no, you have Jim Ross. Listen, Jim Ross used to bully him. Yeah, Jim, Jim Ross used to bully him, bro. Jim Ross used to bully him on, on air. No. You know this Excalibur. What's this move called? He's been so Yeah. Excalibur, Topic Hero. Yeah. He's just chilled like he's having Yeah. Yeah. Last week when he was doing the match, was it last or two weeks ago when he was doing the rampage? <laughs> oh, let's go. 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 let us go this and um, night the champion show, night the champion show. Um, shaping up to be shaping up to be cool. I'm intrigued about this whole um, Finn Balor and um, Seth match. I feel like, yeah, is it me? I'm, no, I'm, I'm, AJ Styles. I feel like, yeah, I want, AJ. yeah, but I feel like I'm getting, I'm why, getting, why do you want I'm Spanner? I'm getting, I'm getting given, I'm getting a, a feeling here yeah, that WWE are giving Seth he flowers to like to keep he, him. No, for him to, he's gonna go away for a bit. No. no, I've got that feeling. No, you watch, you watch Raw this weekend. You watch Raw this week. Oh yeah, they're doing a part one and part two. On it, bro, man. they're doing a whole documentary and he's talking about his whole career from where he is. To I think now, I and I feel like it's a thing. Okay, cool. He's Maybe he's gonna get the title, but I feel like it's gonna be a thing where it's like after you get the title, mm. hold on for a bit, then you can bounce. I, think, I think it's the exact opposite. I think they they giving the time to keep him sweet because if you notice the way mm-hmm. Steph's been talking, I don't know if it's oh. kayfabe. Mm. He not. was he's, salty. He's been talking spicy. He he's not happy. Salty, he's not bro. a chubby buddy. I need to update your something else as well. Like, before I forget, remind me, remind me. Title, yeah? Remind me. He, he, he's been talking spi- about like how... No, he's basically said in men... Not, not directly, but he's basically said he feels undervalued. He, like, he oh, was. I should be. I remember that. Yeah, he basically's like, oh, with like, with like Romans, this person, but who's been holding it down with the matches and rare tear tear. Yeah. And obviously that he part... He about that, by the way. Obviously the part of it, you can attribute to just character work, yeah. mm. but... There's, there, there's something in there where it's believable. So I feel like this title is, you know what, Seth? We appreciate your hard work. Here you go. Mm. Here you go. But for me, which I don't watch the product week to week, so I'm like not it, as no, invested. No, no, no. But <laughs> AJ, why not? Yeah. Because do you know why? Fuck your goal. No, what has no, no, he done right no, now? No, no, no. He's not yeah, my goal. He's my number two. Do you know why? What has he done right now? put the title on someone right now. It has, has to be Seth because Seth be. is on fire. Do you know why? Right nah. Do you know why? Nah. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not disagreeing. I'm, I'm, I'm tired I'll, of I'll get second. Do you know what it is? I'm just sometimes fro- like I feel like predictive. I feel like a lot of things right now are kind of predictable. Ooh. I'm sorry. In terms of predictability, a- AJ has just come into the company yeah. again from what? Yeah, he was gone for how long? Yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck are you? Seth now? can win it. No, I'm, uh, Seth can win it back. I'm just saying for me. From a span of noise. But I'm coming from a perspective where I'm not yeah, watching week to week. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. You don't need AJ to be talking. They need to, to, give, it, they need right to give it to Seth because then that'll be free PR for them. You know, or you've no, got a world it's champion. Not, it's not, it's not that. I think in terms of like, have you watching Raw? Have you watching Raw? Yeah, 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 listen, I've been, watching, I've been watching bits and pieces. I can talk about it, yeah. When AJ comes out, are you, like, it's not really, okay. Seth is the guy that needs to throw this title on. No, there's reasons. There's levels to this, guys, yeah? Understand this. So... AJ Styles just come back here. Yeah? Mm. Right now, it's probably the best he's been booked in a while. Mm. Okay. Well, that, that triple threat, triple threat, okay. Yeah. 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 Hear this out. Right. Do you remember he was part of that triple threat match for the United States title, wherever it is, when Dexter Loomis was debuting? Remember yes. he looked in the crowd, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear to goodness, that was the last time he ever won a match. Because after that, he, he kept losing, yeah, right? He, he kept losing. Yeah, 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 yeah. He kept losing, losing, losing. Judgment Day, losing, losing, losing. It was just like bust up his car for whatever it was here. Yeah? <laughs> he's come back I fresh. Know, I, yeah, yeah. All right. The reason I'm saying is he wasn't good enough to win the United States title. So you have to remember that that's where he was at that point. Seth Rollins should win 
because Roman couldn't beat him. I've said yeah, this, nah, yeah. I, and, I, and I've said this from the beginning anyway. Mm, it Seth, anyway because because ever, ever anyone was. anyone that Roman's beaten that holds the title is a consolation prize. Yeah, yes. By giving it to Seth, Seth can say it. Yes. That's, that's the reason why. That's yeah. the reason why. Roman ain't beating AJ. In this Bro- one, no, but I'm saying this Bro- is the Bro- guy Bro- who couldn't Bro- win a United title. No, he, he I'm saying, for this no, oh, oh, argument, one. argument sake. I'm saying that so both of them. Seth is facing yeah, that. It's, it's true, them. it's yeah. true. But I'm talking about one guy won a United title recently. The other guy couldn't cut the mustard. He couldn't even beat Dominic. Yeah, yeah, straight. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. It's easy. Fans forget. Listen, continuity is key. <laughs> You're like the guy that Dominic beat, like you know, not too long ago. Remember, he upset him like last yeah. year, wherever it was. So I'm like, my guy couldn't win a United title. My guy couldn't beat Dominic. But you got Seth, who's been beating. You know, Riddle, Ooh, he's been oh, beating Lashley. Bobby Lashley, yeah, yeah. beating Fury, oh, so it, uh, almost, yeah. So I'm saying, yeah, recently AJ Styles beat uh, Bobby Lashley because he's been gone for, so if you think about it, this year is probably the first year we've probably seen him properly, AJ Styles yeah, we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite oh, easy to erase. Edge, edge, exactly, Edge, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so probably. it's quite easy to erase that he lost. But if you're one of those people, yeah, you're like, oh, I remember he, yeah, you know, he's been a scrub until recently. You can argue that AJ, because he's been back, they haven't really built him to that level. Even like, if they give it to Shinsuke right now, you're still like, Shinsuke, you've got all that years of damage to undo before you can be that guy again. Shinsuke cannot Slightly, when I was watching that match, what match was he in? Oh, we missed, that, we missed recently, all oh, the triple threat match. Much, yeah. yeah, I thought he was gonna win. You know, he's a surfer. There's a bit. There's a bit. There's a bit. <laughs> of, he's a surfer, no, 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 no. But on the roll, if you watch the match back here, there's a bit of faith. Like there was, a bit, there was that extra sort of thing it. that he might even win. But obviously, I think he went over. Was it? Who went over? Was it? Uh, he got curb stomped. No, no, he got pedigree. He got pedigree by, by Seth. Seth. Oh yeah. yeah. And he's not got pin. And he ate the pin. He ate the pin. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, technically, he's had his first loss since he's been back. And I was like, because I watched it, I was like, they could have protected him, but they didn't. No. Yeah. It's uh, Shinsuke is sad, man. Oh, that should have been a good no, if you, no, you know what, yeah? He's loading, I can't lie, he's loading, he's loading. Because yeah. once this bro gets on Seth, he's loading, yeah, he's loading, he's loading. It's not going to connect. Once he gets on Seth, he's loading, he's loading. Guys, 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 listen, listen, I'm with you. Listen, I'm part of the Shinsuke fan club. I wanted him to be the first Japanese, official first Japanese world champion. But if you look in the history of Japanese wrestlers in WWE, he's technically... No, no, no. no. Yeah, I'm about to say, it's him and Tajiri. Him because Tajiri, Tajiri, Asuka, if you, excluding females, because oh, Asuka, yeah, yeah. 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 But if, oh, yeah, God, yeah, if, out, out of all of them, Asuka's the most successful in terms of male and female. But in terms of the male side, in terms of singles, male singles, it's Shinsuke then Tajiri. In the, terms of, yeah. And the bar, and that bar is low. Yeah, yeah exactly. And that bar is in hell. That's a low bar. Yeah, exactly. He's not, at least he's not Kenzo. No, he's like, he's, that's what I'm saying. He's like, Shinsuke is there. He's a reliable. He's good, like, you know, you put him in a few matches, maybe a young contendership here and there in terms of holding that title. But I think it's the investment you put into him. You got to get, because it's not, because he it wasn't, he's, he's yeah. Building, it's building for him though. From when he went well, to get, Noah, every, every single time he's been, going to like different, every single time they're going to different cities, he's getting a Seth treatment. Have you not realised that? Yeah. I think he will get in there. We're getting there. We're getting, getting there. where? We're getting honestly. What's the no, no, no. What's no, the end goal? Getting where? It's what's all. the? He's gonna get told. Which time? Nah, I don't, I don't think. think nah, you know what? Okay, okay. No, after, eight, after, eight, after Seth, who's gonna win the title then? Gunta de Ringenero. Gunta. Pam pam. Gunta should go for Roman. I can't lie, leave. He's like, well, nah, Gunta. Listen, Gunta. that you you you, you asked me you asked me about Raw, yeah. You asked me about Raw. My guy's been red colors. My guy was an announced table. My guy cut a great promo, by the way. Underrated promo. Gunta is, by the way. He and he's talking in the bloodline. Yes, he's talking in the bloodline. How many? How many? segments did he have on Raw? Bears, he was, he was and Bear was all over. He was all over the place. Mm-hmm. Smiling, shaking hands. My prediction, <laughs> Gunter's going to break Honky Tonk's record. I hope he does. Yeah, he how you have a... How long, long, break long, Honky Tonk's record? I think... About like 70 something days now? Because he's not 400. He's not yeah, past 400. He's not 401. Yeah. yeah. So think about this. There's a workhorse title. Since I've been born... Some guy called Honky Top Man <laughs> is the longest reigning. When Santino brought that up, that broke my heart. How you bring the Honky Meter and you tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Santino yeah. yeah. Honky Talk's 450. Santino Marino. Yeah, he should have 50. Well, we got. Say how long? Guys. I can't remember how long, but he was, he was racing. He was trying to get we, got, we got 50. <laughs> Bro. 53 days. 53 days. 53 days. Gunter Gunta breaks Honky Tonk's record. Now, Gunter will shit. break it. It's very Gunta's well, well, 53 days from the. How long was Santino Marino for Trevor? I can't remember. No, he didn't make it that long. It's probably 70 days. Who knows? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was. But that's how he won the tournament, by the way. I just want to tell you. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was going to say. Well, why did he get pyro? Nah, it was a good, it was a good man. He's food, no, no, man. No, oh, no, was, wait, wait. We're about Ali. Okay, you know about Ali? Oh, we, okay. We finished the thing, yeah? yeah, yeah, I finished. I finished. I finished. Ali, why is he dressing like Dolph Ziggler? He's doing his happy character, isn't it? No, no, no. But he's dressing like Dolph Ziggler. No, no. And number two, yeah. Number two, I love what he's doing, yeah. Because I know the guy's probably trolling. 
Positive yeah. Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Positive Ali. Because even like the whole, because you know that guy's a good promo, but even his backstage thing is kind of like, it's kind of cringe, but I get he's doing it on purpose. I'm being positive, but I'm being condescending. My guy's basically circa DDP 2001, 2002 at the moment. And and, and I, I really am rooting for him. Even though, yeah, a part of me do not believe I'm not being whole, but I do not believe yet yeah, they were going to book him as a main eventer. I do not believe he's going to be in one in the back. I don't think it was going to be at Ali Mania. Do people saying, oh, if Ali did not get injured, he would have won money in the bank? No, I, I don't know, you know. No, it was, you, I don't know. Is it to Brian Daniels? You said Brian Danielson had that pen. You said I that Brian. Don't know, <laughs> but no, 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 no. Because if you look at it, no, don't look at it post. Look at it, what it was building to. Because the thing is, we, we believe Kofi Mania because no. we saw it. But if we saw... If fan reaction is different. I'm saying it's a fan reaction. Mm. Kofi's that like uncle that's been here for a long time. You're like, oh, uncle's getting a title that, that, shot. That was the only I, title I, I, I think with Ali, what they were trying to make him be was this serviceable upper mid card. I, I thought it was one, was was one two, three kid. He was, 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 was just going to be a Pakistani shot measurement. That's what I was saying. Yeah. He was just going to have good matches. He may be the, that, that, good, that great loser we are just talking about. He's always going to be climbing. He's never going to get the big one. That's what I always thought. He might get a few IC title runs, US title runs. Never be no, I want him now that I know him better. Because no offense, my first impression of him was uh, him and Cedric Alexander. Hot, so I was like, that's cringe. When he used to, when he used to do, when he used to wear the bodysuit, like yeah, 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 yeah. 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 In but, and Sony. <laughs> it was yeah, Sony. but then then I realized when once he got rid of the corny stuff and they let him cook. Listen, retribution could have been a thing. Oh. Listen, I'll tell you this now, yeah. Now, you are dying on the line for retribution. Bro, yeah, man, I've, I've said this as well, though. Biggest man thing. I've said this as well. It was shit, bro. It was shit. No, it wasn't their fault. It wasn't their fault. It wasn't their fault. The vision was if, bad. If retribution happened today. No, we... It would have been effective. No! Bro, it would have been No! no. AK, AK, AK. It's effective. I'm with effective. you. I'm with you now. No, it's effective. Huh? You'll be impressed by no, something. No, let me get it. Let me get it. Ali's character. Ali's character. Do you know what Slapjack is? What, what Slapjack? It's, it's like, uh, like. You know what I just think? Yeah, like, Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray used to use it, right? Yeah, Stevie Ray used to use it. Yeah. Yes. Let me say something. Stevie Ray used to use it. Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say something now, yeah. Bro, if Retribution was happening now, do you know how wavy that would be? Yeah, 100%. So, as is. So, the way Triple H, Triple H, now, H, Triple H got the and pen. Then place it in today, post COVID. It would have burned. Triple H with the pen. Cooking them to the moon. It would have burned. HH is cooking them to the moon. HH is cooking them to the moon. You're saying, wait, I'm asking, as Retribute, so the entire. It wouldn't be as bad because Vince would obviously mess it up because he's now back. But if we in hypothetical land, when Triple H had it for a bit, it would have banged for a bit. So imagine imagine now, you're Especially if there was a crowd. Imagine, remember their debut when they did cut the rope? Yeah. It would have banged. Imagine now, you're watching. Is that Nexus when Nexus first came and they mm. fucked up everyone? So imagine yeah. you're watching, imagine you're watching Raw. And yeah? how did Nexus end? The last hour of Raw. The last hour of Raw. Yes, forget about high end. Yes, forget about. Yes, no, yes, because, no, because we have to let finish it. Let, let, let me get there. Let me get there. But Nexus there. basically turned into a show anyway. Let me let me get there. So let me get there. So imagine you're watching Nexus Raw, yeah. Shit. Main event, the final, the final hour, final forty minutes of the show. For what, for what Nexus was, it, it was, it was a good time. No, it was a good time. It ended, but we're not talking about the ending. We're talking about what Nexus, what Nexus was, what Nexus was week to week. I can't lie, they were great to you. To be honest, really? yeah, to so, be honest. And, and, and there's no reason to be honest, that you should have had that. They were I, just shit. I can't, I can they say. Was, shit. No, this is the time. I think. I can no, say. They weren't shit. They weren't shit. They weren't shit. They actually weren't shit. But then you have to say, because I can't say. Yeah, let, 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 but yeah. they were shit. Me, 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 me personally, me personally, me personally, me personally, me, I enjoyed it. You don't enjoy it's okay. Ali's promos. Ali's promos. Ali's promos. Ali's promos. Black, you're your captain because yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. Yeah, you. I remember. Episode fifty. Class. Episode fifty. We all had the intervention about the fucking um. <laughs> we, we all had a fuck. We all had a group intervention, and we told you, man, to let it go. <laughs> it was a point where you man had ten minutes pocket. Oh, I can't lie, it's not working, bro. There's okay. footage. Okay, I, there's no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I've footage. got you. Aha! Do you know what it is? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Yeah. It came to a stage when I fucking had enough. No, but at the beginning. Because I was feeling it. We all were feeling I'm, I'm the madman. Yeah. I'm the madman. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not delusional. I'm not delusional. I have a vision. Do you know it's called Trust me. Faith and I do. <laughs> but sometimes you have to see a light. Well, you know what? Yeah. They don't make it. I'm telling you. I'm no, telling I, you. I, retribution. Listen, when I saw that, I said it was bro. special. Yo, yo. It was special. For real, yeah. It was special. I have Promise two. You. I have two moments well, I love from retribution. I got two moments I want to big up about retribution because they get they get maligned. When Bray Wyatt 
Alexa Bliss were in the ring. I thought oh, that's an yeah, interesting yeah, dynamic, yeah, yeah. right? Of course, of course, that's an interesting course. dynamic. Even though what happened, what happened. And when the Hurt Business came down to yeah, beat up yeah, 12 that people, was hard, that, that was hard. Was hard. But yeah, retribution, the way, like, you know, on paper, it could have been a thing. But we've got an old man who knows nothing about pop culture. He was running the ship and, you know, what happened, what happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, big facts. I agree. It had a great idea. That's why it was. At the end of the day, that's why WWE annoys me. Because you've got an old man with his pencil mustache, with his jet black hair. Yeah, a curmudgeon. Curmudgeon. He's so... He's a curmudgeon. It means he's like a salty, old, bitter man. English. Yeah, curmudgeon. Yeah. English. What the fuck is that? Curmudgeon. Yeah. AK. Latin. <laughs> yeah. Lax <Lacks> Eterna. <laughs> a bad tempered person, especially an old one. He's a curmudgeon. I like AK. I like AK though. Like so what else is on the agenda? Is that the only thing we're speaking? Because I, I don't want no, no, you guys no, to bro, miss out. Bro, we never have an agenda. We never stick to this shit, man. Bro, so we, bro, just bro, we just jump. JD McDonough. Yeah, let's talk about that. Bro. So I'm not interested. One thing I was gonna say is that no, bro, you're gonna be interested. Why? Did you say, I, 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 saw, I saw the promo. It's the Vigny. It's the Vigny. It's the Vigny. It's the Vigny. It didn't wow me. It didn't wow me. I saw. I saw. I saw the trend. It didn't wow me. What didn't wow you? What the Vigny? The Vigny. That's the only thing I saw. That Vigny was good. I listen. Take him seriously. He fucked up Dolph Ziggler. You don't see that? I didn't see that. He fucked up Dolph Ziggler. So him and Dolph Ziggler gonna be in a program. So what happened is they had a battle royal. One thing I'll say this year is that mm. they he's had a battle royal. Yeah. I've never battle seen, royal I'm, but... I don't think I'm used to this year. They had a battle royal yeah, yeah. with hella new talent, mm. which I kind of thought was a bit. No, it's okay. Weird. It's no. okay though. But then again, if you don't know this talent, you're like you. You want to yeah, highlight yeah, them, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think you know WWE probably showing vignettes over the week. They showed one of uh, Apollo Crews. But well, well, you've seen a lot, people, again, a lot of people are coming. Uh, J- 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 can we talk about Apollo Crews after as well, guys? Because we're gonna need we need to talk about Apollo Crews. That's another. That's another irrelevant yeah. situation. Uh, Apollo Crews. I agree. Uh, I agree. Uh, like, don't I, even make I, sense. I have, I have faith in Apollo. Oh fuck off! Sorry, I love you, bro. I don't. I don't. Listen, you weren't saying that. Man, you sitting on this side. No, I'm sorry. Man, is just one. All I can say, all I can say is yeah. My guy went back to NXT and they had an even more uneventful run. Double Kato beat him. Bro, and he never got his win. That's a Raven. Bro, no, no, no. You went from that's a Raven to the equalizer to all sorts of <laughs> dumb gimmicks. I see no, no. a big match. Will Listen, happen. I was a fan of the Nigerian <laughs> Prince. <laughs> no. I like the Nigerian Prince. Give him. I'm sorry. At least he had a character. If it's only to me, who's Apollo Cruz? Nigerian Prince, and you're done. Today, who's Apollo Cruz? He's a black guy that does flips and that's sometimes he does power no, moves. No, no. That's <laughs> smiling, bro. <laughs> He's done. He's done. You lost made valid. Job and he had a bang of theme which he lost. He got some generic you're gonna theme. Get, you're going to get fed to Veer in my house. By the way, by the way, by the way. If this shit was big. man. Them man, them man, them man. You know, Jinder Mahal, Ma- they're, no, they're, that's my they're, king. There's someone to win the title. Yes. Yeah, with the beard off. Listen, oh, Jinder looks sick. Yeah, Jinder, I can't lie. Jinder when, was. When, because um, yeah, yeah, you see, yeah, Mark is yeah. doing um, the predictions for next year. Yeah, yeah. I'll put, I'll put in the shit as my tag team champions for next year. Bro, no, they should. You know, it's, I saw the big man thing. Yo, they talk to me about the camera of their entrance. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that was great. Jinder Mahal is underrated. Listen, that's my world champion. That guy, hey. You guys, the Mahal. have changed their production a bit, you know. How? Also. They're using different. I've clocked it. They're using different cameras, and I feel like the, even the way the, vin, the vignettes are doing, like, the vignettes are film. Of, they're very cinematic. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, vignette, the, the JD one. Oh, reminded me, it reminded me of um, Shorter Hair. Shorter Hair, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's talk, let's talk about JD because that's, that's what we're on. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. JD, JD McDonough came in the match. Um, um, I won't say a great showing, but he got eliminated. He then pulled out Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler got eliminated, then he attacked Dolph Ziggler. Then he left back the heck out of him. After back, after went backstage and after I think I forgot the comment for the I think it's Kathy is it Kelly? Yeah, Kathy Kelly. Yeah. She interviewed and goes, "Oh, what was that about?" She goes, "Oh, he needs to know who the um the Irish ace is," and he walked away. Oh, I'm... we then got that vignette of him. Yeah. yeah. We then got that vignette of him backstage oh, no, no. doing the whole thing, and I was like to myself, I was thinking to myself. You know Jordan Devlin. Oh, guy, so it's that him? Yeah. yeah. Jordan Madonna? Yeah. 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 This, oh. guy, this guy might oh. be something in this one. Yeah, company. okay. Might be the next. Might and then you saw Finn. Did you see Finn Balor in the end? Wait, in the, in the, the no, you, you didn't. So basically, yeah, Change just in just case you missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on top of the building. You didn't see that? When he walked out in parking, and then when, when JD walked away, you, you, yeah, you saw. Mex was saying, Mex put one of the comments on the, on the agenda. He said that how um, JD should join Judgment Day. Okay, part of me is thinking this. Okay, okay, it could work, but Judgment Day as they are right now, yeah. They can do humor. Can JD do humor? It kind of go against his character because Dominic added more to the group. Because you think about this, 
I was against Dominic being part of the group. But you know what is a solo thing though. You know when every faction, that's what I'm saying. Every faction, you do need you do need a a person who doesn't need to talk. It's Rio though, isn't it? That's what makes Rio great. Is because the fact that they don't use gender. Comedy a little bit, man. But the mummy. She's doing smoke. smoke in come in and be like, "Who do you want to get? Him. Bam." Done. I guess so, Captain. but because we are because even even because you think about Damien Priest kind of get lost because he doesn't do the comedy that He's much. Like leader, isn't it? Nah, well, leader? Is no leader? one, no. no one well, de facto, de facto is Finn. Because we want, because he's a former universal team champion. Because yeah. you, you, you do a thing like, who's got the biggest like, uh, resume. like resume? Yeah. So you go Finn, because he won every title there is to win. And he's the reason and, that Edge was taken out. Bingo. Edge. Exactly. Yeah. He kind of replaced him, but he did say that thing, the manipulative thing of like, there is no leaders. We're all, yeah, we're a I unit. For me, real for me was the leader, low key a bit, because she was leading Force, the charge. Yeah. Force, yeah. yeah. But then again, I feel like See, it changes. Was, there is no David leader. Faces, David yeah. Faces the one because I'll do it is when the, the promos, yeah. The promos and the Bad Bunny match. When the, the whole Bad Bunny thing is when the man was scrapping on the back, David Prince just standing there mm. and he just jumped like his body. Obviously, they're fighting the ring, but he's just like standing there like a boss, boss mode. Like, yeah. This guy, this guy's the guy. This guy's a guy. I feel like they all have equal footing. So I don't, yeah, I, feel, I, I, I don't look at them as like. And it's, it's seasonal. They, they don't need a leader. It's, mm. just, it's seasonal. It's, it's just, it's just but if I had to choose, yeah. it would be Finn. Why, why is Dominic yeah. always getting hit first? Have you not realized that? Of course. He's always getting hit first. Of course. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. 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 Dominic yeah. gets banged first, but he always gets the sweetest bang. You know why, though? It's because he's, 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 he's the victim. Yeah. Yeah. No, but he's such a hill right now. Everyone just wants to see him get punched in the face. But he's on a good winning streak, though. Oh, he's on a good winning streak. Low. He, his moveset has gone as always. Yeah, when yeah. he hit that yeah. Michinoku driver. Yeah. 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 Money in the bank. Jesus. Oh, I'll be pissed off if really? he wins. Really? It works. He needs another two three years. He's three done years. a job right. But I want Prince Mysterio. My heart is still on that him win the mask in the end. Do you know what I want? Do you know what I want from, from, from Dominic here? Yeah? Prince Mysterio, that's what I mean. Can I, can, I book, can I book this quickly? Go book it, yeah. This, whatever, yeah. yeah. Can we do a storyline where someone steals a belt again? So Dominic, can, Dominic should steal re, um, Seth's belt. Where is he? He's on Dungeon Day, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Steal the belt and runs away with it. Every single time Steph's trying to get him, he can't get through to him. Steph has to go through the whole thing again. I don't know. A month, a month story. A month, story. A month, a month, a month, a month is like the, the limit. They can, they can now do callbacks of the time when Steph hit me with the kabuku. Do you remember that time? Yeah. It was call me, it back, Seth. call it back. Call it back. I saw the time. I've got the time. I'm the champion. From, I'm the champion. And, and they got history. They got history. His first yeah. match was with, with Steph in it. Yeah, there you go. So Steph would have to go through Damien Priest, go through JD, JD, JD McDonough, go through, um, go through, go through, McDonough. go through, um, Finn Balor. Then even have a tag match with. I don't know if they want to do Becky Lynch and someone versus. Um, do you know what I mean? I think it'll be good. Someone stole the title. I want. I like that shit. As long as it's a short program. It should, yeah, no, it nothing should, too long. Nothing too long. Once it gets the paper, if you cut that yeah, shit nothing, off, yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing too long. Nothing too long. I'm, not, I'm not against it's, it. Stole the title. Bro. Someone should steal the title. Usually, them stealing title programs don't last more than three weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're all fine. agreeing, though. Yeah, Seth for world champion. Yeah, hundred ten percent. You need to legitimize the title. Don't think. I know you guys talk about span and stuff like that. Yeah, it's okay to be predictable. This is what happens when they convoluted things. When you convolute things, for example, Cody should have won Re WrestleMania. I still haven't watched the main event. I watched yeah. the entrance. I stopped it. So that match, I probably will never watch it. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. No, 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 no. I agree with you. I can't lie. Yeah, he didn't need Bullshit. to. Bro, Cody should have won. Cody should have won. I, I told you. What? Shouldn't. I told you. I shouldn't. I'll tell you why. I'm I'm the, stadium, the stadium was a different. The stadium will say something else. Is it, is it me? I'm happy you didn't win. I'm happy you didn't win. I wanted Stadium from 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 like November. I, I said it from win. day yeah. one. I was thinking, you know what? I, I said, said it for day one. No, it's not for the same reasons as him. I said it for it's day one. Because you're a fucking hater. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not a hater. I want to because I like him. What was the reason why you didn't want him to win? When I sat in the sofa and the energy that was getting from when whenever Roman did something, I was like, cool. Let me tell you something, yeah. For me, he wasn't ready. He was ready. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Wait, 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 wait. Now he's beaten Brock. Wait. For me, for me. He's so ready. wait, wait. So the bullshit okay. roll-up victory has okay. made him more okay. ready. Wait, it's not That's bullshit okay. roll-up. He went through fucking wait, war. Wait, 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 wait. He went through war. Wait, he pinned Lesnar. He war. How is that? Listen, if you pin someone, that is a big thing. He didn't do a schoolboy. He looks him in the eye. He goes, I'm pinning you in the missionary. Clean! 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 He pinned him in the missionary. He looks him in the eyes. He's been bleeding and stuff. You know what? You know what? When it comes to beating Lesnar, if you pin him... Yo! But can I say something, yeah? I'm sorry, and I'm going to be fucking real, yeah? Mama, come to the company. 
bro. defeat Seth a couple times, goes no. and it, and no. wins the Royal Rumble, no. and everyone expects no. him no. to now win the world Wait. fucking Wait. heavyweight Wait. champion. No. Of, of, no. of, of, of what? No. Roman Reigns. No. Someone who has no basically... Oh, okay, pause. Pause. Yeah, you know what? Come, yeah. come to my country, yeah. taking all our jobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So people know this mm. problem I have with um, uh, people who view Cody's thing. Cody, for me, it's not like oh, Co- you man are viewing Cody like oh, of course he's a new character, but like Cody's not the same person that we saw evolve throughout the years. Exactly. For me, Cody coming back is a final evolution. Of, you of, man, yeah, you a man continuation. Are you man are seeing it. As uh, a, yeah. You, 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 yeah. You, you, yeah. You're right. In the, Cody, but you're right. In the independent tax. No. It's no. It's a story. It's yeah. It's, it's a story. story. Listen. It's, a it's the same guy. You, man, you, man. you see your voice. Your voice box is going to break. Stop explaining <laughs> to this guy. Please. No, because no, I understand. I'm with you. I'm with you. Guys. Guys, think about this. Yeah, I'm with you. You're acting like, yeah, there's not a guy who came in at the age of 19. Thank you. Right? For me, you say, oh, he has a suffered long enough be stardust and tell me if you haven't suffered wear a mask until you haven't suffered tell me you had a mustache and you haven't suffered tell me you weren't you weren't you weren't overlooked because they thought Ted DiBiase was the one you know what I'm saying tell me you you weren't wearing knee pads (laughs) for some reason tell me tell me tell me that Damien Sandow won money back over you that guy had m- suffered, though. Tell me, my I guy. Tell me you don't have to fight to get into the title. Sam, 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 Sam wants to see him in a match with a crocodile and a, a Brady Love crocodile. Yes, I do. And he's okay. done it now. But, and he's but, done it now. But, 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 they bungled the Royal Rumble. He should have been number he one. Won, he should have no, been no, no, no. He should have won. No, 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 no. He should have won, but he should have been number one. If the fact he was number thirty, you know them ones where it's like he, he should have been Iron Man because you 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 went Gun you went Gunter yeah because you thought Gunter did well. I'm I'm happy. Number two, number two. You know what? You know what? Yeah. No, Chris. You know what? Yeah. No, no, no. For me, yeah. For me, for me, for me. I want to see you suffer. But you have to. Why? Suffer. Why? Uh, it's the problem with these niggas. Pain. These men have trauma pool. Like, yeah. These people have <laughs> to suffer. <laughs> it is. Trauma okay. pool. This is it. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. No. The Listen, problem with this man is trauma mm. pool. Why can't yes. someone yes. just be yes. so good that yes. you just get the yes. Yes. Because, yes. Because he's yes. not so good he's personally. No, no. Listen. 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 It's not so good. Blacks, yeah. Blacks is going to like travel back to 1984, 85. No. Hogan should lose. I am Messi. I am 16 win. I am 16 you know what is? You know what is? <laughs> you know what is I, I do follow that. Opposite. Hogan didn't suffer. Really Hogan, Hogan just came in and won the title, yeah. ignoring that he was in WWF before. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? I, I believe. I believe that that you need to go through your pain and then I will appreciate you more as a champion. That's just no. me. He, I, I believe in that. But the thing is, no, now, now, now it's good. Pain. Okay, so okay. Michael's wrestling in front of 20 people in fucking um, Saskatchewan. And you call it Saskatchewan. 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 All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll give you one example. Okay, let's use, let's. McIntyre is one example. All right. And and now, do you know how hard McIntyre had to work when he got back in WWE to reach that main event spot? No, McIntyre is not, McIntyre is not Cody. McIntyre is not Cody. McIntyre is not Cody. We were screaming for time. McIntyre is not Cody, what the fuck you never see? It does matter. McIntyre was never walking straight to the main event roster from. You know what? Okay, all right. Okay, okay. I'm on a fucking second. I'm on a fucking second. Okay, he did go to the developmental, ha ha ha. But that's even more hustle. And he still went through developmental. Okay, okay, it doesn't okay, matter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, yo, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you don't need to hustle. You don't need to hustle. You don't need to hustle. Okay, 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 okay. Gonna do, do that. That. guys. Okay, <laughs> using the metric of how you guys are gonna buy it. So Stone Cold Steve Austin, would you argue he got over in '96 or '97? '97. Or '97, right? Yeah. So Cody Rhodes coming back was like last year, right? So you argue he got over last year, right? Yeah. If we did that method. So let's just say. Are we, are we really. Com- okay, are we comparing? No, no, no. Journey. Yeah, 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 yeah. a journey. I'm doing, I'm doing your metric. I'm doing your metric. I'm doing your metric. It's all about the journey, right? Apparently, we're on, on, we're on this journey. So let's just say, yeah, that Stone Cold bled, right? Against Bret Hart. Cody tore this peck. Remember, that's the first year the person getting over. Then the following year, because you build out that momentum, 98, he won the Royal Rumble, right? Right? Yes? Yeah. No, no. I'm going on your method. So you're saying that with Stone Cold. He didn't have enough of adversity. Broken neck, blah, blah. blah. Should, he, should he have won the title? Should Shawn Michaels kept the, the belt? And then 99, then 99, he faces Rock, then wins the title. 
Let me tell you the absolute In difference. Philadelphia as well, by the way. Let me tell you the absolute difference. Fin- finish off, finish off. Stone Cold right. had to work harder mm-hmm. than Cody Rhodes. You're crazy. Done. You have the I'm same kind Sam. Of you know, Sam, I don't, think, I don't think Sam's watching. I don't think Sam's watching. Not, 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 not more. Stone, Stone Cold Steve Austin got five from okay, fucking okay, WCW. Wait, yeah. Man, yeah, yeah but I'm not talking about the independence. I don't... Okay, yes. Oh, you want to include that into the story? No problem. That is part that of is the story. story. No problem. Okay, no problem. That, that is the story. No problem. That is part uh, of the story. Uh, we, 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 you know what, yeah? You know what? There should be a part two or part three because I'm enjoying this. This was really lit. This has been lit. No, I've, I've enjoyed this guy the way. Yeah, another time. Before we even get back next week, I don't care. At the end of the day, guys, though. At the end of the day, guys, though. I like Cody now, though. I, 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 for Cody, man. Yeah, no, I, mean, I have said that I do like Cody now because now you've worked for it. Yeah. Okay. No, but okay, okay. Parting words. They, porn. Big man team. Parting words. Oh, parting words. And Alfie, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you're trying to wrap this up, yeah? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. But, but, the, the, okay, 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 okay. okay. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put comparisons, but the, the true the true issue I have right now is they're booking Cody like he's a world champion. His first his first challenge should have been Brock. And Roman's fighting for the tag titles. Make it make sense. If, if it was like, if Roman had a better storyline and it justified him winning then I would have been like you know what WWE you got me you know better that's where you get paid the big bucks yeah exactly the fact that yeah Roman is in a tag team match when Cody could be defending the title in Night of Champions against Brock it's, it's because had they been booking him that would have made sense because think about this Brock Lesnar couldn't challenge for the title now that you remember exactly now that Roman lost you're like why did Brock turn that's because Brock can finally fight for the title now now that the facade's gone now he goes, you know what I'm saying legs and Cody being champion Post mania. Also, then, also, um, WWE are stupid. Why is Brock Lesnar mad at Cody? Because Cody flopped. Cody, if you'd beaten Roman, I could challenge for the title, but because you lost, I'm going to F you up. But they, they, they're too stupid to do that. That's why, for me, that should be why Brock's mad. Brock's yeah. like, you, I believed in you in the title and you didn't do it, and I'm going to fuck you up. That could be a great reason why. Because people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a wonderful reason, right? He Listen, the curfew's still there. He goes, my curfew nearly got lifted, but you, you flopped. So I'm going to fuck you up because you fucked up my money. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> you know what? That's, yeah, what, that's what I'm saying. That's that's good Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yo, Thank you. Yeah. Oh, right, guys. Yeah. I can't lie. Bro, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at stuff next week. We might have to come back here next. You might have to come yeah, back yeah, here again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you free, oh, free. oh, 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 I'll speak to my missus. She's my booking agent. Yeah, conclude this situation. No, no, I'm, I'm listen, I'm enjoying this, man. My plug, blood plug is us, flowing. All right, uh, so yeah, you can, if you, <laughs> your blood is flowing. Uh, guys, if you want to follow me on uh, so, <laughs> if you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at sat next to. And I'm sat next to these gentlemen right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sat next to Rest Things. So, yeah. And if you want to see me chat a bit more, every Saturday is on Wrestle Talk. I do the SmackDown review with a great man known as Tempest. I also do the Wrestle Talk news as well. And I'm also on Twitter, man. I'm, I'm about. I'm about you. You know, I'm about here. Love, man. Love. About. Come on, we're going to definitely try and organize something again, man. Before we head out, guys, quick one again. Another reminder. 6th of June, Hustle are back at Colour Factory. Amazing, for Hustle. Amazing, amazing, amazing show last time. Um, this time they're running it back. Rain versus Tate Mayfair's in the no-holes bars. Tables, ladders, chairs, barbed wire, glass, everything. Yes. It's going to be crazy. No-holes bars. Crazy. Um, also, guys, click on the link in our bio for the WWE shop. Grab something, man. Go grab a T-shirt, man. Bud Bunny T-shirt. Wavy. The um, Pretty Deadly T-shirt, wavy as well. The WWE Heavyweight Championship, wavy. Go grab that, man. Go and enjoy yourself. Shop. Um, also... Versus rest things. Out tomorrow. Actually, uh, potentially out Thursday. Okay. I want that belt, Oku. No, nah, listen. Oku's got that musical it's belt. I want that belt. Whose song is it? Uh, uh, Whose song is it? Uh, listen, I want to be in it, brother. I, I, I want to challenge. We'll get you in that. I'm going to come back to that. That's, that's crazy. We're going to get you in that. What? For sure. City yeah. smacked Roma did 4 0. That belt is mine. <laughs> I'm just saying it. No, we'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you. Sorry. We'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you. The belt is mine. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got, um, Michael Oku. You got to beat Michael Oku's score still. Yeah, listen. Season, isn't it, so. Listen. He's, he hasn't touched it. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't touched it. Oh, he hasn't. I have to go to him. I want 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 to go to him. I see you on it. I see you on it. Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. My guy, ca- my guy, cash in and, and he won. I, I want to be the champ. Cool. We'll get you in. We'll I want to be the champion. We just made that belt. I, I, I saw it. He said it's made for him. Nah, man. It's made yeah, for I'm, me I'm for really. Like, <laughs> I can't lie. I'm looking at that.
I know, what, you're so what, close. What's the goalie thing again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, guys, I, they're going to find me, bro. We're over to Sorry. Over 15 minutes. All right. Guys, um, I've been a Nafi. No, boy. Your boy, Sam Black. Sati, baby. NK. Laps. Oh, so no, man. Get out of here. This is Wrestling Podcast, episode 172. Tell your mom, to your ma- uh, tell everyone. Buy the man them. <laughs> For the man them. Collusion. Bow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You just got to the end of the podcast and if you've enjoyed what you've listened to, enjoyed what you watched, enjoyed the vibes, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode. Bow.